Yeah, I'm live. I'm, I'm, I'm live. Right, I'm ready. Let I'm ready. Let you know. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Jill, what? That sounds so weird to him. What's going on, Gainesville? What's going on, Florida? It's your boy Jerk Jerkins right here on Florida Hip Hop Radio. And it's Friday night, man. Y'all know what time it is. We are, uh, um, what's popping, Gainesville? So, hey. Tonight, we have the, um, returning champion. <laughs> Don't do that, man. It's Michelle Campbell back in the building, y'all. Okay. And she brought reinforcements, too, yes, man. Yeah. Uh, introduce our guests, please. Yes. So, this is um, Latricia. She is um, a black... She's She has a black bit owned business here. Oh, really? Okay. She does. Okay. okay. She also this works, is, uh, you know, locally, so... Okay. Uh, yeah, is I am. Light or something? Your light is on. I thought it was supposed to be on. Me too. Nah. Well, while we got, while we talking about a bit, shout out Mo's uh, peanut business, man. Yes. For real. You know, shout out my nigga. Um, yeah, I work locally. Um, I also have a website. Um, what's so? What's I'm sorry. I was I was talking. What What's the business again? It's just a web a t shirt. Okay. Right, basically. And what is it's shirts that um you can match with Jordan's basically. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's right. the uh how we find them? What's the Um you can go on my Instagram is Tease for Kicks. Um T E E Z and the number four. Got it. Kicks K I C K Z. Um I just started it so um That's what's up, man. You know my website is Yeah, yeah. It, it nice Trust me, man, I got I got um I got scammed with the website game, man. Dude ran off with my money. For real. As soon as he got my money, he like disappeared. The website on, disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, he Careful killed me. Now, so I only bought stuff for people I could pull up on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go to school. You say you trying to order I said, I got one of my daughter's schools. Oh, yeah, I don't have shoes. No, you say kicks. It's church that matches. Oh, Jeez. So the brand new J's okay, come out. Okay, some J's come bad. out on the 24th, the white and red ones. I wanted oh, to get yeah. in on that. Okay, my bad. You make the t-shirt that go with the J's. Right. That's right. what's oh. up, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's real. You can go with anything. I'm going to need some more purple shirts, though. That's real. Yeah, because I'm liking the shoes, bro. All right, so um, anyway, man, it's been a week. Um. Any exciting news? Anything y'all want to talk about off the top of your head? You know, I'm trying to try to create an open space here. Nah, I'm good. I'm ready to talk about whatever y'all are with. Nothing exciting. Hit me with it. Nothing exciting going on out here in these streets. I mean, what music was? Just start working on a new song. Oh, oh okay. So make sure we you get that up here new so we can debut that yes. and all that. Breaking silence. It's also another duet. And it's actually somebody else's song that they wrote on it. So I'm singing on it. Okay. I'll just want to answer that, like. Do you write music though? I need to start. Writing. No, okay. Yeah, it's really been working on other people. Want to be your ghostwriter? I could be a ghostwriter. All right, she's, that's what I'm she, talking about. She, she, she's being um, modest. She's being modest. Yeah, she, she does. Yeah. I was gonna say, I thought she said she did. That's real. A little, real. Bit, a little bit, But most, I mean, lately. a lot of singers, that's, you know, they, that's how they, that's their individuality, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Um, all right, but hey, let's it's go and get it started, man, For if sure. it's cool with y'all. All right. Yeah, um,. Cool. Miss Latricia, since you're new here, I mean, I feel like we should, I feel we can start with you, man. <laughs> nah, yeah, we're gonna Why start not? With you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. See, they don't see those videos where they throw the baby in the water and just uh-huh. and let him see if he survives, yeah. man. I was right. like, do they do they ever drown? Yeah. All right, man. Um, all right. So the first the first question. Well, anyway, let me first you know do my due diligence here. What we do here is just um, general topics, mostly mostly uh, romantic dating situational scenario questions but um i think it's important for us all to get these different points of views i mean because i don't know if you guys divulge that you guys are related but but you know um i don't know if y'all said that already but just because you're related like we might talk to two different same mom same dad that's crazy (laughs) that's real shit um but no i'm just saying like you might talk to two different people. Even they might be twins, and then they'll get yeah. they'll give you totally different yeah. answers. Yeah, sure. So you know, it's always good to get that. But anyway, um, let's go and get to it, Miss Latricia. Um, the first question is, and I see women uh, talk about this all the time. Can men take hurt, pain, betrayal, cheating, all these things? Do they handle that as well as women? What do you think about that? Uh, you know what? 
generally. We talk, we're talking in generals you here. Know, I do not think they do. Elaborate on that, please. I say that because most men um, have not been conditioned to manage their emotions. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Women have been able to, like, you know, we can express ourselves emotionally. Yeah. And it's okay, but mm. men. You know, you growing up and you being taught, like, you know, be a man, you know, don't cry, right. Right. you know, right. be strong. You, can, I, you know, you don't want to show any signs of weakness. And so I feel like right. men are just not as well equipped to manage her mm. because that's okay. just not... I think that, that's very person. sensible. Um, what, what do you what do you think about that, big dog? For me? Yeah. How you, do you do you think men handle it just as well? No, man. Well, I, I, I agree with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I definitely agree with her. But she did kind of get me, though, when she was like... um. We wasn't. We're not raised to. What you say? We're not raised to just express yourself. Yeah, I don't think it too. Women aren't either, y'all. It's just. Uh, We are better at it. Exactly. We're allowed to more though. Yeah, because we're women. So we may not be. Yeah, yeah, we may not be taught it as much, but we're. It's definitely more socially acceptable. Accepted. Yeah. You know, because Mm -hmm. we're women. Right. Yeah, man. We can't handle it. Yeah, we no, I agree. We definitely can't. And um, I'm thinking. <laughs> Not until we invent them. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, that you that concur. That. I definitely you know. concur. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, um, y'all would be done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, we did something. Y'all, y'all over. Mm. Okay. And, and then when they're usually like, oh, you know, they're not so. You know, they don't want it to happen, or but they'll mm. usually definitely mm. back. Woman cheats on man. Um. He reacts to that differently than man cheating on woman. Women can get over that a little better. Yeah, they do. I mean, they do it all the time. I mean, look, I mean, the women, you know, they, they take dudes back out the numerous of times, mm. you know, versus, I mean, I'm not going to lie. You have some men, you know, we call them simps, ducks, or whatever, <laughs> you know, that go through the same thing, you know. And I'm not going to, don't laugh, bro, but I, I've been him. Yeah. I have been him before. I, I, a lot of, a lot of people things, have, whether now, they know it or not, right. But now. No, no, no. Women taught me, boy, no. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I don't trust them as far as I can find. What? Uh, that's that's, what, that's, that's why I said you must be a general because I wouldn't mm. take any man back. No, you wouldn't. Nah. Okay. No, I'm done. In no condition. Nope. No okay. condition? Nope. Okay. After the first time? Nope. First time. Oh, I don't about believe that. Cheating. Cheating. Talking about cheating. cheating. Yeah. About cheating. I never, I never. Even, even after the first So no. a dude cheats one time and you're done. What is what is cheating exactly? That. Pen, is that I penetration? I don't believe that. Is that is that just um, what is what is cheating? Even I mean, even if you're talking to somebody else on the phone, that's technically cheating. Mm, and you're, 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 there's no coming think, back. I mean, from... if we can try to work it out, you know right. what I mean. But okay. honestly, it'll it'll continue to come up. Mm. So doing a relationship, your guy, he can't have female friends. No. Seriously? <laughs> no, I'm your friend. <laughs> I am your friend. Oh, hold on. I'm the captain, I'm the captain now. now. What, what, what about you? Very funny. Um, Trish? I think if these were already pre established friends, okay. then that's cool, but you don't, I mean. No new not, friends. Yeah, we don't need no new friends. Friends. I get that. No new that, friends. That's I get a little that. sus. But if you um. already have pre established friends, that I can, we can all be around together. There's no, you know, like. Right. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Don't say no, phone. yeah. Don't, no, don't, hold on. You on the phone. Don't you say, yeah. You I just said no. I'm friend. Oh, we together, but oh, let me hear, let me talk to my yeah. friend. Please. No. But listen, you're going in the room, you got to talk to your girl. Listen, but you need to think about it because you're an artist. Right. So you're going to be working with men. That's right. So therefore, but you're going to want your mate to be accepted, you know, acceptable of, hey. I put it on speakerphone. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. So he okay. can be become comfortable. So I mean, I don't know, but that's just me. That's just somebody dealing with me now. You know, everybody. But you don't want to deal with it from him, though. He's not gonna have no. This is why I be thinking when I say women are very hypocritical, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just because I work with these people doesn't mean they're my friends. Right. Right. And just because he's on the it's phone, a, it's a professional exactly. it's an associate. But just because right. he's on the phone with her doesn't mean it's anything going on either. But you said men, men are There's allowed to have friends. between friends and associates and, or, or well, I co-writers. Get it. It's not happening. Right. So, so you don't have no work boo. Cause I hear a lot of women be telling me they got uh, a work Oh man, a yeah. Work boo, that, a work they think that's friend. cute too. They and they think, that, think it's cute. They think that's cute. I don't cute, get down man. like that. I don't either. No. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm coming to the job. Hey, that's lingo for you. Might come on outside. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's hey, cold for like you really attracted yeah, to this exactly. person, Thank man. Exactly. But you can't act, or y'all haven't acted yet. That's you know what true. What I mean? Maybe y'all have. But uh, we got a, a 
a comment here from Mrs. Lynette Robinson. She says, it can't be a friend in quotation marks. You have been, um, you, you have been intimidated. I guess that's what it means. Anyway, if you can't do it in front of your mate, then you shouldn't be doing it. Is that is that, oh, yeah, I agree is, with that, that. is that what I cheating is? That. Okay. Well, all right, I, I think we kind of all agree there, too. Uh, let's move on to the next one, man. Um, this will go to you, Miss Miss Michelle. Uh-huh. What's the most important thing about a person that makes you want to settle down with them? Um, consistency. Ah, okay. So start off, uh, continue how you started off. Huh? Yeah, so I think, yeah, because I think, you know, when you're trying to court someone, you're trying to, you know, to win somebody over. You do all this stuff. You text in the morning, cute stuff. Nah, no, no, no. I'm tired of that, nah. It's too <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then yeah, once you get nah, somebody, then it's just like, yeah. Like, well, where's the text? Yeah, yeah where's the text in the morning? Yeah. Or where's the. Right. Continue to get even after you Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but realistically, you know, in a. a, a in a relationship that lasts for some time, you're gonna have, you know, ebbs and flows, ups and downs. Yeah, not, so how do you how do you uh, reconcile that? You know, the, cause, I mean, because like, no comedian goes on stage and hits every night. You know, right. what I mean, you and gotta I understand that, but right. I think at least just trying. Like even if you can't, okay. things get busy. Right, you know, right, right, right. You know, things are gonna get busy, busy in your life, but still, just try to make an effort to make each, make sure that each other. You know, right. Okay, I'll go for that. What about you, Miss Trisha? What you think about that? Um, I think consistency is okay. really important. That's what's attractive. Yeah, I think it's hard to um, say just one thing. I think consistency is important, but for me, where with where I am right now, one of the most important things would be like probably your emotional intelligence. I need mm. you to be able what does that mean? Like I need you to be able to express yourself emotionally. Uh, I think you know, okay, okay. Both okay. women and men. Men okay. can be like accused of not being emotionally enough. Because, like, you know, you find, like, mm-hmm. women going off and they want, like, they're trying to get your attention. Like, we want you to mm-hmm. do something. Like, I'm mad and yeah. I need you to react. Mm-hmm. And that's because y'all aren't expressing it. That's craziness. With women, we might be a little too emotional and be, you know, called crazy mm-hmm. or whatever. So, I think huh? that you <laughs> need to be able to, you know, manage your emotions right. appropriately so that we can communicate. And, yeah. So... Have a I'm with that, man. I I don't I, I the only thing I would say is the phrasing. Would that be like intelligence or is that just capability? Maybe I, they're I just not capable of doing this because of the education you were talking about earlier. Oh, so some man, guys just don't even know what the hell how you know. But I could be wrong about that. I just was asking. What do you think, brother? About uh, in reaction to uh, what Miss Trisha just said. Oh, I mean, I mean, I kind of agree with both of them, but. Uh, consistency, um, uh, that, it's, it's different for men, you know, okay. women want consistency, but I, most important thing, most important thing, yeah. Making me actually feel secure and loved within the relationship, mm. um, like I've said, you know, I've said it before. I've had many women tell me they love me. Is that like appreciation? You know what you mean? But I don't feel it. Okay. Mm, you're not showing it. You know what I'm saying? So I, you, I don't feel it. So you, you giving know? that and you're not receiving. Right. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because I can tell a person I love them all day, twice sure a Sunday, but if they don't yeah. feel it, mm-hmm. it's oh, useless. It matter, it's yeah. pointless. Preach, man. You know? So. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is going to be. Um... Wait, okay, okay. I'm skipping. I'm going ahead. Um. I'm gonna ask you this first, Miss Trisha. Tell me what you think about this. Is dressing like your mate corny or is it cute? <laughs> I mean, you know, you I might, to, it's, go a get little, it's a little corny. Do you make but, the you make the t shirts for the couples? It's, it's a little corny, <laughs> but I would do it if my partner wanted to do right, it. Right, 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 right. You right. know, I'm not about to wear exactly the same thing. <laughs> but maybe we can coordinate Cor- a little bit. I think that's cute. Think that's now the family I, pictures are cool, but yeah, but, right, but, right. but you get a little coordination now, but it's a little corny to be the old couple like with that. the checker pants on. <laughs> and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, y'all, what do y'all think? Y'all agree with that? Yeah. 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 Y'all agreeing too much in here, man. I know, yeah. But, you know, 
Nah, I'm playing. I'm gonna go back. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm get on We'll see. You know what they say. You know, they, they get to talking too crazy. Hey, hey you know. right now. Yeah. All right. Um, this yeah, one, I think, it, I think it will be very uh, insightful. I'm going to ask you, Miss Michelle. All right. Um, things men do to scare away women. I watched an episode of that show, Dave. It was the rapper Lil Dicky, the white boy. And it was about a lot of this. He was just about to get a date with uh, the famous rapper, and he said something stupid. And she just she stopped taking her clothes off. <laughs> and she's like, I ain't going. So what do dudes do that they don't know that they're doing to scare women away? A lot of stuff. Okay, let's hear this whole laundry oh, list. Oh, oh. This is how you stay off of the block list right here, fellas. I know, because I'm telling you, a lot of people have gotten on it, you know. Ah, it's legendary on that. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's man. so funny, you know? man. That's so funny. But a lot of stuff, I mean, they get too overprotective. Like, they start, I don't know, like, calling too much, mm. asking where you are, and, you know. And let me, and let me, and let me, and let me ask you real quick. Let me just start, say this real quick. Some people are just assholes. So we're not really talking about assholes. Right. But the, let's, I really want you to no, answer the guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really want you to answer the guys that's doing this, and they don't know that it's a stupid decision that they're making. You know, poor fella. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, it, but for real, let's figure, you know, that's what I'm really, let's not, you know, because some dudes, some people are just going to be unreasonable. You right, know what right, I mean? right, right. Yeah. I think, too, um, let's see, guys that got, you know, on my block list, they, I mean, inconsistent. <laughs> Again, you know, it's just, I mean, calling, texting. You know mm. what I mean? I don't want to feel like I'm chasing you. You know what I mean? Okay. What? What? Not, I don't want to. I don't want to be rude and interrupt because I, I don't like people interrupting. Man, but since you asked, so open, so open <laughs> table, since you asked, I'm just saying. Like, I was gonna ask. Well, how can I work this? That's my dog. No. Um. So draw the line for me, man, between a man being consistent, then mm. you sit up and say, oh, he calling too much, he mm. texting too much. Yeah. And then, so so you, I need you to draw that line because see, you're sounding a little hypocritical. So, no, no, no. Right? So I've done, I've, okay, okay, all right, so let me explain. So I've dealt with two different types of, of guys, you know. Okay. One, they'll only call on the weekend when they want to, you know, hang out just to, uh-oh. Don't call me right now, man. <laughs> when they want to, you know, hang right. out, or, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. But during the week, I don't hear from you at all. Mm. But you're busy. Okay, you're busy. Well, I'm busy, too. You have children. I have children, too. But at least let me know. Show me that you, you know what I mean, are right. interested. Yeah. And then I have this, the other, with the complete opposite way, you know what I mean, is constantly they have to call me at work. And, you know, no, I got to work. And it's okay if you call me, even if we text every day if you want to. But you calling me at work all day, all day long. And then, too clingy. yeah, it's, right. so that's stand. the thing. Mm. It it can be, you know, a give and take. Like you know, I, we can still talk every day. That's perfectly fine. But it's just like I, you have to understand that I am busy as well, and right. we just have to have that establishment. Okay, I know you have a you know, busy schedule as well. So, you know, it's not like I'm trying okay. to be but again, too difficult. Like I say, I'm make time for who and what you want to make time. That's for. their favorite line right, right. there, boy. Right. So you got to just call me on the weekend. Just to hang yeah. out, and I ain't hear from you all week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you think about that, Trisha? What's something that guys do to scare women away? Was it that bad, that bad breath? What is it, that? Do it. Oh, that hygiene? Uh, yeah, that'll do it too. Yeah. For me, it's probably trying to be too tough. I don't like mm. trying to be too tough. Like, yeah. act like they don't care, or like mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm, okay. I just think guys try to be... That so bad boy type. Yeah, like, no. stop trying to be so tough. Like, that's not <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. It, that's not going to get you nowhere. Okay. Like, that's the same thing for you. Draw that line between a guy being tough or right. a guy being um, raised and not hanging, you know, to be able to express himself emotionally. Right. You don't want no pansy out here, do you? <laughs> True. You know? Nah. Because, like, kind of like what he's saying, a lot of times men don't know that they may be doing something that's going to be a turn off, mm. you know, and being that y'all are attractive women, so y'all are used to guys hitting on y'all all the time. So I know a lot of stuff become a nuisance when it comes to guys, but this guy may be genuine in his approach, but you don't kind of like, like, oh, here we go again, another one. <laughs> and dude might be genuine because that's, he's truly being him, like you said, and he don't know. You know how to express himself, especially when he don't know you. Or he haven't gotten the opportunity to have a conversation with you. So, 
you know, I think y'all women sometimes are a little too harsh. Here you go. <laughs> I, I, hold on, I'm since waiting. you want to say no, something. No, because I was waiting until you got done. <laughs> since y'all, y'all women are a little too harsh at times um, on some guys, I, I will say that, you know. And I know y'all might want to say it's just standards or y'all just not going to tolerate no BS or whatever. But how can you say that about a guy that you didn't take the time out to get to know for yourself personally? Yes, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Go ahead. All right. So, I mean, so many things that you've said. <laughs> <laughs> I think, just like I told y'all last time, like, um, if I'm talking to you, I'm only going to talk to one person at a time. So, obviously, I'm interested. Okay. So, I feel like, I mean, being too tough, like, just tell, I mean, tell me how you feel. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have, like, if you're interested as well, we're talking or whatever, just, like, I think sometimes emotionally-wise, like, you guys can't talk and explain, tell tell a female, like, how you feel about the person. Because y'all just, I mean, you know how to say it. Like, you know how to say, like, okay, I'm maybe, interested. Maybe they're too scared to feel, they don't want to feel like they're being, like, weak. I mean, but, being, I mean, too, we grown. Too and, yeah, and we like, don't want to be, like, like grown. The hundred guys before us. But it's not like you know that. What I'm saying? Yeah, it's not. I mean, because I think the hundred guys before you, if I'm not talking to them or I haven't given them the time of day, it's just people that's in my inbox at that point. You and know I, what I'm saying? I get it, but you have so many women like boom, dude, because dudes are afraid of being like the rest. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, y'all have no idea. Like, because women say those things like, be different, try different approaches. So dudes like. Yeah, what I'm being real. Like, hey, what I'm about let you know I was interested or whatever. Yeah. I asked, you know, what, what I'm saying, about to do to take you out or whatever. Case may. Like, what you want me to do? You know, yeah. get in the helicopter and get on a loudspeaker <laughs> with it. Like, what, like you know, so dudes are just being themselves, and sometimes them being themselves is not enough. I hate to say it mm. Um, mm. in today's time for women. And it could be due to a lot of the um, foolishness that most women have been through. Mm -hmm. You know, especially women like y'all selves who's on y'all grind. So y'all like, man, I ain't got time for no BS, you mm -hmm. know. But y'all need to tone it down a little bit. Yeah, uh, right. say, say that, bro. Say that, man. I mean, I, I, oh, ahead, I agree ahead. with you yeah. in some ways. It is true that we may ask for things and we sometimes... Some women don't know exactly what we want. I've seen mm -hmm. that a lot. Where we might say Trish for president, first Ooh, woman to admit it. Trish for president. And I can admit that I have Trish done that president. before. Where I said I want you to do something different, but I don't even know what it is. Right. Right? right. So it's not fair for me to say that. But also, there have been times where I've said this is. I've said exactly. This is what, what I, I want you to do. Yep. You might do it one time. And then I don't see it no more. I say, this is what I want you to do. And you still not doing what I'm asking you to do. Or you doing it in a way that you feel like you want to do it. Or, or you, you know, know I've heard, heard, I've heard that, well, this isn't me. This is, oh, oh, yeah. I told somebody I want them to be more romantic. Right. It, that's a good one. And they say, oh, well, I'm not romantic. Google, what? Pinterest, all this well, stuff. Well, it ain't going to work. Stuff. I mean, because if that's what I like, <laughs> right. then, and if that's something that you can't work on, yeah. then, I mean, we're not going to work out because that's one of the things I like. Okay, so let me ask you this. You the last one to finish talking. Um, <laughs> no, nah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being like trying to be like ass or anything. No, nah, but um, <laughs> why don't y'all just cut that off and move on to somebody else? Because obviously, that's why I said that's it's not, not going to work. Right. right. That's why know. I said it's not going to work. Cause yeah, because if you have to keep you know, around, telling yeah. the person, this is what I want to do. Obviously, it's not them. Right. It's not who they are. Right. So definitely, you know, you know, we talked about love languages. You definitely have to learn a person's love language. Mm -hmm. sure. You know what I'm saying? So. And I can't keep on quick. So I, think I can't keep on quick. Because I mean, sometimes, though, to be fair, you want to give the person a chance if you really like them. You understand that they're not going to always have every single thing that you. Yeah, but they have to be willing forced. to learn. They have to be willing to learn. Though. You know right. But that's not us forcing something that's <laughs> not really going to work out because that's true right. but some people are willing to but if it's not who you are like she said you're going to do it when i say something but then eventually you're going to go back to being who you are because mentally you're that's not, not always that's true, not true because not, not if it's something true. you want because right. females shoot so a lot of times men wants to do stuff and it's not who we are and we adapt right and we are consistently doing <laughs> it if i know this exist. is something i know this is something you want from me right. i might not want to do whatever this thing is all the time but i'm going to do it and i'm going to do it consistently right 
because I know this is that's something what you that like. you Are you going to give it your all, though? Okay. Don't just do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like, yeah. What are we okay, talking about? Yeah. Just anything. All right, all right. Anything. Yeah. So, look. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, no. We talk about it all, though. Okay. I know. Okay, Trish, you want to, you want to, you know? No. Well, I guess what, what I'm hearing is um, can people change? Uh, and not just that. Is there value in a person changing for mm. for you. I hear I hear women saying stuff like, um, "Cause I'm one of them people that's kind of stubborn. Like if I don't like going somewhere, I'm not gonna go. It's not because no disrespect to you, but I don't, you know, I don't right. like that." Um, and I've heard, I've been told even like, "Well, I do stuff you don't like to do, but you know what I mean." So, um, I guess that's that's the that's the 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 optive thing like. Is it? So you, if it's some place that you don't like to go, would you go if you love the person or you want? To that's the that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the you. question. Um, I would. I mean, go for that person. Right. But I mean, what is that? I guess it's, back to, it's kind of what you're saying. Is that is that love? Is that coercion? Is that mean you forcing me to do some you shit? Compromise. You gotta, you gotta no. Compromise. Yeah, you know. Don't that is compromise. You gotta, you know. Take a look interesting what your mate is into sometimes. Yeah. You know, you gotta you gotta watch ice like, skating you know, and you know, oh, you know, go, go shopping. Right, right, right. Go shopping. I Right, right, right. Well, well yeah, now that's mutually beneficial. <laughs> now, man, we do that, but man, listen. It depends on the woman when it comes down to that because some women are going to try Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going shopping, man. <laughs> well, you know, you try to be nice and you do it, but in your head, you're like, I'll oh, go. I, I, no, I'll go shopping. I mean, but I don't know about that. That kind of shopping, I ain't been, you know, holding a purse and waiting in the. I can't do that. Come on, man, you can hold a woman's purse, man, while she's in the fitting room, man. She can you take gonna the, just let her purse just be? She can take it in there with her, man. It's safe. It <laughs> it's safe. That's the safest place on earth, man. <laughs> right there with her. Right there with her. That's man. why some of y'all ain't if, here. If you right. Know, that's the safest exactly. Place yeah, uh, I didn't hear that. Say that again. You said the same place with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it might not be safe yeah. for me. I, I, you might need to hide it from oh, me. Okay. Yeah, keep it with yourself. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. All right. Um, I know. <laughs> thank you. For, no, I'm good. But thank you for. I totally forgot him. Got him sitting right Normally I bring something to the mind or dark or white, but I don't know what's going on. All right. This is interesting. And. Um, I'm looking at y'all hair style. This is a hair question. Yeah, okay, um, you your man that? has these long dreadlocks <laughs> or braids or something, or yourself. Um, on here, it refers to you know the big chop you cutting all your hair off. Okay. Is that something you have to discuss with your mate beforehand? I take this one first. Okay, <laughs> you first, brother. <laughs> all right. Yes, but I only think only if you you know. Y'all have been together for some years. Like Are we discussing it for permission, like, or is it... I just I need, need to give you a head. I, I don't really say permission. I just need to give you a heads up. Well, hey, listen, That's you heard what I said. Hey, you heard I, it say permission. It's always... All right. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to necessarily say permission, Approval. but just... It's just a, a, just a know, synonym. Just, it's just a conversation, you know, because... I had this thing at one time. Long hair was my thing. Right. So what happened? Man, I wouldn't even give you time to uh, pay. Man, so, so because I like, you know, right. it was just something about long hair. Yeah. Right, so depending on your mate's okay. preference, okay. you know what I'm saying, and then you change it, huh. and I never you, you got to take a risk of that person not being attracted to you like that no more. Yeah. Usually, you know usually what when people talk about preferences, it's something that's just a, a, a innate um, characteristic, mm-hmm. like your, your eye color or your... Yeah, height. Uh, uh, but it, you know, you got got I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying. But but hair is something that you can change about yourself. So what I'm saying is, your preference is long hair. Oh no, now I don't care. I was, you know, but at that time, a yeah, person like, you could fall in love with a person with long hair, and then she cuts it off, opposed to a person that could make themselves shorter or something. Like, um, how, how you? Oh, what, yeah. what do y'all think about that? I don't have that. I think that's childish. Let's hear. It. Oh, I want to hear. I want to hear it. Oh, it is. What, what's childish? Everything you said. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, so what you do you disagree with? Yeah. Everything. Like I said, I've been married before. I have cut my hair off completely. You know. No. Have, no notice. No. Just on a whim. He. Yeah. No. He woke up to yeah. a different hair woman. Yeah. Sure did. 
<laughs> That's crazy. I had dreads before, took them out. I had natural hair, then I permed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when you're in a relationship, you but go through. But he still through, loves he you still, either way. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, when you're with somebody, you go through so much with them. Like this, that's stupid stuff. Like you okay. know, stuff that's respect. It's, 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 it's not stupid. No, but no, but what I mean is. In life, when you're in a relationship, you go through real stuff, like health problems and stuff. Okay. That's the, the real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Understood. So hair and stuff, like you have to get What's on the mindset. Opinion? Like, are you just trying to mm. really get into a relationship and think about marriage and all this other stuff? Are we just playing around? Because like the hair and stuff mm. like that, that's play play stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Because I got hair. No, you need to like me for everything. Thick and thin, you know. Listen. I don't know. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. 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 Go ahead, bro. Only because she said thick and thin. I love this. Um, so, what about the old adage of like people saying, just like you were just saying, consistency? How do you reconcile that? If I, I hear a lot of people say, well, um, if I if I when we get married, you got to stay the same. So if you was, this look like this, I want you to look like. How do you reconcile that? Like I like I like you. You said thick and thin, and I, I was I mean, that made me think of weight. I liked you at this way and right. now you happen to um and that doesn't i'm not saying that um there's some kind of approval process here like you got to yeah. get permission but how is that um how is that honest i guess if i'm if i fall in love with you like this and uh, i mean please so even um i even with the hair thing so even like i was I don't know, going through something or something was going on and I had a bald spot. I started developing a bald spot. I think it was depression. Right, right, right. Remember, whatever. And so that's the thing. It's like mm. different stuff. You don't know what's going to happen okay. while y'all together. I so that was it. due. I had to do it. It's deeper than rap. It's deeper than that. You yeah, know what I mean? See. But even with my weight, this is the smallest <laughs> I've been after children. So I was 210 pounds, 15. I'm 170 now. I'm still losing weight. I'm on my weight loss journey. And even, you know what I mean, my ex-husband saw me at a big, you know, bigger size. And now he's like, well, uh, but still, regardless through that, it's just like, you still have to love somebody through everything, you know. Mm -hmm. because Or even say, let's go to the gym, baby. Or, mm. you know what I mean, because people, they do lose weight. They can't lose weight. They right, can't right, gain right, weight. Right, right. It's just part of life and growing old together. I'm with you on that. Just because <laughs> um, it has nothing to do with love. And that's what you're, you know. Um, you don't? So no. you still love the person. Yeah, you can still love the person. But you, exactly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What about all so the stuff that do I do you, and mm. all the Wait, stuff? But, but how do you, I'm going to use your word, how do you reconcile that when you love the person but you're not attracted to them now? Mm. Mm. How do you reconcile that? Mm. You how do you a serious reconcile relationship? Mm. Put this back on me. Because that, 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 I mean, from what I've been told and mm -hmm. heard, that happens throughout a marriage. You mm. know what I mean? I'm, I don't like you no but, more. Jerk, you got a belly now. You right, know what I'm saying? Hey, girl, you... You know, look, you know what I mean? So, so it, you're right. And like, that's where the compromising and the sacrificing coming yeah. in at. Like, you know, one of y'all just said about, okay, hey, time to go to the gym. And she said, hey, dude, you ain't got the six pack no more. Right. Hey, now you take clothes on. <laughs> so, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just saying because it's, it's people out there like that. Everyone right. isn't like that, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of people out there like that, you know. Um, and you just got to do whatever. Could lead to cheating. Definitely. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't think if you gonna cheat on I'm saying it should. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying it should. Hold on, because I'm. But it could. See, this is what women don't want to accept. This is what y'all women don't want to accept, and this is coming. It's coming from men, and not all men are like this. But kind of like it, because women y'all do have that thing. Like, hey, you just gonna have to accept me. You know, if I gain two hundred pounds, dude, like. The vows. That's the vows, man. That's the vows. That's what it says. I'm you that doesn't. Do anything, a woman like that doesn't do anything for me. And if you let yourself get like that, mm. just because I love you mm. or whatever, and we done been together three, four years, you know what I'm saying? You got two kids or whatever. But from do you me. love me or do you love what I look like? Uh -oh. I love all of you. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I love but all of what you. What you saying though I is I love you. you what you look like. Yeah. I ain't the size of you. Because see, now what I'm going to tell y'all is if that's the case, if it's all about genuinely about love, then it's, it's, it doesn't matter what a person looks like. I don't care mm. if you approach you in a wheelchair with no legs. You should give him the time mm. of day. No, because see, no. this is going to stop you. When you when we talk about attraction, mm -hmm. there's, there's different Thank phases. you, there's attraction. That's physical. There's different, that's, there's that's, different that's, phases that's of visual, a relationship. Okay. You got the initial phase where I don't even know you. Okay. So that's where the preferences and the attraction come yeah, in, right? Because right? I don't know, know this person. So the only reason why I'm even talking to you is because you probably look good or you got right. whatever it is that I'm attracted to you. Gotcha. Now I'm going to start spending time with you. Right. 
And I don't care at this point. It's more what's more important is your personality and who mm. you are as a person, right? Okay, so okay. So then I'm gonna start really okay. developing my feelings. I, now, right. I, I, she's saying that. that I go for that. So I go for that. Shoes. Right, but when right. does when when do we transcend from one <laughs> to the other? How does that happen? But I want to know how many big plus size guys they actually gave a chance in the beginning for nine years. Well, don't do them like that. I'm, I'm just saying. So, the, so and, it's true. That's, it's true. Yeah, okay. I was married. And but it was always is that is that is that regular? Does that happen a lot? Does it, are you uh, an exception to the rule? I mean, I don't uh, know, though, because that's the thing. I think it's, like, so generalized. I think big dudes get played. Be. Big dudes you know, get played. Uh, Some like of them. I, 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 it, was, it was his personality. Okay. Was always. I, I've met him a bigger guy. He's always been big. If a big dude, I mean, he, he might just have to work a little harder, but he big dudes get, they can get nice girls, you yeah, know, if I they, you know. And when he want to lose weight, I will go and try to, you know, cook less. So, either way, it was just love. That's yeah, see, the way there you go, the compromising, you know what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, I think it starts with attraction and preferences, but if you are gonna be in a serious relationship, it right. can't end with that. Like, if, if we mm-hmm. gonna get take it to the next level, at this level, it's got to be you love it's me deeper, for right? me. It's deeper than that. It's mm. it's beyond attraction and preferences. And see, that's what I'm saying. When you did know, that happen? Have no idea. Like, you know, I mean. When do my when do my no, get deep. initial get attraction deep. preferences? Not overweigh. When did right. that happen? That what? What? At what course of this? Uh, which I know it should be at the beginning, but I, I think I think that's one of them times where communication um, is paramount because um, a lot of times I think we are um, not in agreement on where we are in a relationship. So you might have some people be like, "Hey man, I'm ready for this. I'm ready." And I'm like, "No, I'm still in the." <laughs> Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Still be ordered, man, yeah. right. I'm still in the first stage, right. man. Yeah, you're right. Shoot. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a firm believer, you know, you got to yeah. continue to grow, man, throughout your relationship, <laughs> man, with one another. That's real. At least talk to us. Let us know. Let each other know, know, know where we're at. What is this? All right, uh, let's move on a little bit, man. This question is like, it's a double question. And um, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with you first again, Trisha. Um... Are there what are the limitations or 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 just um, rules on dating a friend or acquaintance's ex? That's one part of the question, and then the other one's the inverse of that. Are there is there any um, acceptable times where you can date uh, a friend of an ex of your own? Which so you got an ex and then one of his friends and. Or uh, or you have, the first part of the question was, a friend of yours and their ex. So we got two different things here. So, I see what you're saying. a friend. Is it ever acceptable? And their ex, ex. And then, yes. my ex and their friend. Got it, are. got it. So a friend of mine, if we are truly friends, because I don't consider myself to have a lot of friends. Okay, okay. That's why I use the word acquaintances. Yeah, like, if, if this like, is my friend, then they're probably someone that I confide in about okay, the okay, I talk okay. to. They know, you know, what's going on. So if, okay. if um, they were to date my ex, I would feel like they don't have enough respect for me got and it. our friendship. Because they don't. Now, you know what I mean? Like, how are, how is that going to work? How are we still going to be... Able to really okay. be friends okay. and have that same dynamic. If I'm gonna have to be around you, you don't know what kind of trauma I've had around being with this person or how triggering it might be. We can't even talk anymore about that at all. It ain't a friend because mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about it now. If it's an acquaintance, and that's the word I use, know, but you know, it's free for all. Because I got too many of those. In, okay, yeah, no, okay. It's an acquaintance, and then it's all okay. Okay, now what about your ex? My ex's friends. <laughs> <laughs> this I is what, and, and, and this is why we ask this question. This is why we ask this question. You know, I would try to be respectful. <laughs> it, depends on, it depends on which friend it is, because if it's like you know a friend that. Oh. Now I don't know. See, I think that's a, that's that's, that's normal class because anyway, cause all y'all, I mean it might be a, one or two that might y'all. be a good one. Nah, nah, so nah, nah. now I'm gonna feel like you've been looking at my homeboys all the time. <laughs> oh, nah, that's what I said. Nah, the thing about it now, if you my ex, I really don't really care about what you feel. Oh, oh, you. See, do we, <laughs> can we have a real conversation about? Um, and I'm asking this. Um, 
Why the hell my camera? Hypothetically, like, like not just us here, but just in general. Yeah. Can we have a real conversation? I mean, an honest com- conversation about a current relationship and friends of your current partner. Meaning that, okay, we're talking about. Uh, you just you just said something about your ex's friends. I'm sorry, y'all. My phone is um, so weird. Do men and women do they secretly evaluate friends? Oh, definitely. Yeah, do, do we we, like we never friends? talk? Nobody yeah, ever admits yeah. to this or talks about this. Come friends. on, bro. You know you know men do it. I know men. You do know it. men. Do I know it. that for sure. <laughs> um, elaborate on this anyway. Well, out of respect, I wouldn't do it. Even if you know it, it was one of them that was attractive or whatever. Right. You mean after it. y'all have dated? After yeah. Uh, what, what about five years? I Ten years. <laughs> ten years, five years, ten years. I'm be with somebody. In thirty years, if you ain't married, I ain't married. Exactly. I mean, Mm-mm. that's so friend true. back in high school. There's so many guys out there. Like, why I gotta be his friend and my friend? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stranger so things have happened, man. But people do it. But man, yeah. Funny, man. I don't want none of your friends. All right. Any last thoughts on that, y'all? I think that women are definitely attracted to their men, so whoever. Oh, yeah, fellas, say this shit again. Say, say that again, They're going to kick you out. They're going to kick you out. We have said that he is fine, and we have told yeah, someone else. Have, okay, okay, yeah, okay, so okay, 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 okay. No, we may not. They're going to kick you out of the group that, text. Like, if, it's, if it's a real one, she's not going to ever act on that. Right, 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 right. right, right. You absolutely, we have absolutely said Respect that. Respect that. Right. Um... I'm about to be like, so not good. no friends. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> don't be surprised, Stay away, man. No. Bro, you don't, you don't, bro, you don't cook out no more. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, this next question, this was um, the comedian. Her name is Jess Hilarious. And she did a video a couple of years ago that made me want to ask this question. And her video was about um, friends of hers that felt like she should just... Um, basically uh give them business info and 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 uh and information and and just how to get on basically how she, that she because they're friends she should just give them that and she her her point was that no i had to work hard for shit, you know what i'm saying and okay so the question is um like when starting a business is it your responsibility to give knowledge of how to start a business to your friends and i use start a business but it, you can apply that to a, a number of different things. It's not it's, it's, well, you know, you know. Women first. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, if it's the same business that I've done, and then you try, you okay, know. okay, that's okay. But if it's just trying to start a business and you want advice, then right. that's different because I feel like you know we should be putting each other on as you know as my friend or family okay. or whatever. Okay. I'm gonna help you do whatever, whatever it takes to put you on. But if it's the same type of business, no. Why not if it's the same type of business if if that's what you have the experience in? Because it's a competition. But they're not going to be your competition. It is. Anybody that's trying to do the same thing or whatever, I mean, it's still, I gave you, yeah, well, that's my opinion. You can't, yes. And and you know what I'm about to say because I always, like, you know how many hamburger joints it is? Mm. You know how many people sell you know many t-shirts? Get, right. get you think Ralph Lauren care about Tommy Hilfiger and Perry Ellis okay. and all them, you know, Greg But you know Norman how many hamburger like, they, they, joints get shut down, too? So, let me throw a little... Uh, how many? A lot. I, I think you're just making that up. No, it is. <laughs> We're not talking about somebody that's just... Hamburger joints that been here, not here anymore. McDonald's is still thriving. You I understand. Know I know, you're right. There's different ones that's just no longer here. So okay, that's what just about like, that's just Rouse. like so. Okay, I was about to say. So that's if I'm a water burger, right? And mm-hmm. at one point, water burger was thriving. You remember them the hamburgers? Yeah, good. I good like. Job. I'm not gonna lie. I like the water burger. Right, oh, right. Wow. Then, but it's other chains that took over. You know what I'm saying? So what? My friend business. I just gave her all the information. This is how to do it. Whatever. Then she turned out to be what's another good hamburger joint? That Max. Max. And then she turned out to be Max. You know what I'm saying? Whataburger, they had to shut down. Zach still threw it. But okay, but then you need to improve on. Yeah, you need to improve on your product because I don't care. Zaxby's is good, but you got Popeyes right down the road. But that's what I'm telling you. That's my competition now. So I'm not gonna give advice on the same type of business that I'm working on. They got the. Come on, you gotta still think of it as a business. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Like mindset. It's too much money out here, man. The other thing I wanted to kind of throw in there that that I think should be considered is. Um, a lot of times, you know, gaining expertise, you know, that's what makes you an expert is, uh, that's what makes you an expert is training. 
and a lot of times, you know, to get trained, I'm sure to become a nurse, you had to you had to pay for school. So, um, a lot of times you pay for the training that you get. A lot of times you pay for the connections that you make. You do, the time. Oh, and I might not just want to readily give that. You right. might be my dog, but I might not want to give you the yeah. game. Like, you know, I might not. I, all the connections I got, they might not want me to. They might not do for you or what, you know what I mean? What right. they'll do for me or whatever. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all too, man. That kind of sound like the whole crab in the bucket. Thing. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Right. Let's, let's, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, let's like let's hear. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Let you get your spoon and and I feel like too, like you know, not everyone is the type of person that's gonna go and uh, you know do community service. Or whatever. So I feel like if you have some information that could be your way of giving back, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Give somebody yeah. some game that nobody was okay. gave you. you right. Know? right, and that's all true. I could get you started now i might not tell you all the ins and outs of my business but i could at least help you mm. get started now what you do with that that's going to be on you but then also right. like you said it's, grind. Like, yeah. is grind. it's business too yeah, like, you got to pay different. me for that right no if i, if I exactly. give you the game like that yes well, I, 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 if not percentage. what about my value yeah. what about me so what, what about are you gonna give me? yeah exactly like you guys no no yeah you got i'm yeah, i think you, i'm with you on this you need to, we need to sign Let me get contract. 10%, man. What? 15? <laughs> I don't agree with them, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. My bad. If I can give anybody the knowledge, like I say, because you may not grind the way I grind. Mm. You know what I'm you saying? May. And you may, you may grind harder. Exactly. But if you're grinding harder than me, I can't be mad yeah, at you. you're doing the work, mm. Yeah, you yeah. put the work. Yeah, you don't got to be mad that's, with that's me, but I don't have to give you, know you the information. I mean, okay. all I did was give you the information, and you just exactly. you put You, ex- you so executed it. I will give it. you the information, but it does not have to be the same thing that I'm doing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I will give you whatever. You know, whatever you need. Right, right, right. right. Some basic general. Basic general something else. Right. You got to do that over there. Yeah. I'm with y'all on that. Any last thoughts? No good. I think we spit on that one, man. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with you, Jared, on this one. Go ahead, talk Is it okay to grab your lady ass in public? PDA. Mm-hmm. All day, twice on Sundays. And right, in, right, at, right after church. Right in the parking lot? No, at, at the cookout in front of I'm, Auntie, I'm, though? Listen, I'm going to do it like, very discreetly, like if it's a lot of people. Okay, right okay, 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 okay. That's, okay, okay. You know, yeah. Not discreetly, though. This is. You ain't gotta go in like that, but you know what I mean. But definitely, I'm not definitely, to be definitely, just definitely visible to the saying, public. You know, I mean, if somebody see it, I mean, they just see it. Right, 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 right. right, right. Too, okay, okay, respect. Yeah. Um, well, how you feel about that, Michelle? I respect my woman in public. I mean, though. as long as it's not kids around and stuff like that, I, the same thing. In the movies. Yeah. Just like be respectful. We on a date night, you know what I mean? Sure, why not? Okay. In, Knock yourself out. Right there, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I'm going to walk out going to the bathroom, excuse me. Turn the hand back. You're going to see and say, excuse me, sir. That's hey, too bad. Like trying to be like slick. My bad, mom. What you my bad, my bad. Okay, Trina, what you think? Don't do it. They looking. <laughs> what is, I mean, they wait till you get home. Just wait till you get home, man. Just do What you think, Trish? I mean... If it's not my kids around, I don't. I mean, <laughs> I what I'm talking about? Listen, Trish wants you. Like that. Like, okay. And I said that. That's why I said. That's why I said that, I said that about the movies because. If you're at the movies, there might be some kids yeah. running around. Ain't nobody yeah, care about them kids. Right. <laughs> I, hate, I love the new movie theater seats, but I hate uh, them. What is, what is it, they comfortable? They yeah, they, they're very comfortable when you get to kick your feet up, but what I don't like, you can't lift that little arm rest up no more. You can't be on a real date. You yeah, talking about you a celebration what point? What is that? I don't yeah, remember, yeah, man. You can't the watching a movie. I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to put my arm around there, especially if she cold, got my mm-hmm. jacket Hands to, you know. Go home and do that. No, it's yeah, it's spontaneous. Yeah, like, okay, it's it's, it's, it's like, amping up. Right, right. Live a little. Yeah. Live a little. Uh, Sorry, they weren't thinking about that when they built the seats. Uh, they should have. Uh, yeah, okay. 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 Let's move on to more, I'd say, bleak effect. Um, I'm going to ask you this first, Trish. Um, would you allow your 13-year-old daughter mm-hmm. to attend her best friend's baby shower? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. I'm you let her go? If, if it's her best friend's baby shower? Yeah, her partner. I think at that point, we've already had probably enough discussion about her friend getting pregnant and how it happened. She can go. Oh right, so, okay. So it. What do you say to people that, that that might say it's not about the education, it's about the promotion? You know what I mean? Saying I that, the, meaning that I don't want my daughter to be, you know, celebrating this. Between them two have already been going right. on. There's a difference okay. between encouraging behavior and supporting someone. Oh, right. shit. So Talk about that. I like that. Trish. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, no. Oh no, we're gonna ask Who, you. Go okay, we'll save you for last then. <laughs> what you think, brother? I'm um I'm gonna kinda of agree with uh, Trish on this one, man. Oh, yeah. You gonna educate her and then let her go. Yeah, you know, I, I used to feel some type of way about it, but then the more I think about it, they was already talking. You know what right. I'm saying? So her so trust me, my thirteen year old kids learn from that from the peers. Exactly. Trust me. She knew when she decided when to do right. it. However many times they done did, oh, where it to, they done Jesus. had those conversations already. Yeah. Listen, that that's 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 just yeah, the got reality, you calling on you know? Jesus over here. Um, so for me to then deny it, nah, I, I would definitely you know teach her the importance of being, drop off, you know, to be a friend. Let her eat, let her eat, um, let her eat the meatballs. Like what? You got a best friend that's doing. I mean, yeah. is she pregnant? No, no, you uh, don't. Okay, so 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 so. <laughs> oh, you gonna pick you, your, you your gonna drop off? Friends, huh? You gonna let her eat the meatballs? You no, gonna, you let her get some of the dip. I'll say too. I'm more involved. You know what I mean? Like, you send the diapers. We ain't going to. I know. Yeah. Or what that doesn't I, matter. But if she her best friend, your best friend, so when she my kid, she tells me stuff. Like you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> She, she had sex. Oh, we did you keep things from your parents? She cut off right there. Just ask them. Not thirteen. I don't know. Did you keep things from your parents? Thank you. But, so okay. you don't think your daughter's going to keep things from you? No, that's not fair because you ain't let me respond. Okay, I, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. You. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hear. So I did keep things from my parents. However, my parents were not like me. They didn't parent the way I did, and they weren't as I would say okay. in open and mm -hmm. involved as I am. Damn, I said that. But, but, but look at you. Right, you and your sister both right. Don't you think y'all turned out fine, though? Still? I mean, sure, we still, sure, we both still crazy. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I would say that. It depends on how you define. Yeah. Fine. Right. Uh oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Y'all agreed, you know? agreed on that. That's, yeah, a, that's, exactly. a, that's, that's, that's incredible. But, hey, but people like crazy people. I, I see that, man. Listen, I'm going to tell you, it's crazy, and I know we call it toxic, but I was that guy. Mmm. I had to have a woman that was like crazy, like well, a real sprinkle fight. a little toxic. It makes in there. It, it, it literally used to make me feel like she really loved me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because why else would she be acting like? This? We didn't change the whole thing. Yeah. Change the whole topic. Wow. But then, no, please do. That's, older, that's what I want I you to do. I, I don't. It's, I can't stand all. Oh mm, no, 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 no more time. Crazy talk that toxic about. used to be sexy. You know it used to be sexy. It did. Yeah. You know, everybody used to talk about, you like the women that's going to fight you. Why? Oh, yeah. that's different. Yeah, that's, that's just, that's, you know, that's the battery. Come on. <laughs> 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 now we, <laughs> that's, you know, dream line, you know. Yeah, it's a different type of crazy. But no, seriously, your daughter, trust me, has already had that conversation with her friend before she even came to you about it. Trust me, because if she knows the type of parent you are, she's going to like, she's going to already tell her friend, my mama ain't for the living. Uh, but you know what? So she's going to keep but, it from so you. So even me, though, I've had the talk with her at 10, 9. When did I have it? I had a whole presentation with her and my niece. A about, presentation? I did. Yes, I did. About <laughs> what sex was, uh, you know, birth, um, body changes, all of that. Just because, just like I said, you know, you go to school or something like that, you're going to hear stuff, and I want you to hear the right stuff. So I just want you to be open to it, what happens, you know what I mean? Even mm -hmm. if they say it's cool or whatever, the, you know, what consequences to it. So still, I think I would hope my daughter, after talking to her, she realizes that this is not the type of, you know, when she start doing that, this is not the type of friend that I need around. Right. Hopefully. Well, hopefully. that don't mean, though, even though y'all are very open and y'all talk, that don't mean she's going to That's not, that, right. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, hopefully, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? She just like, okay, she's doing stuff that I'm not there. I'm not ready for yet and stuff that I'm not doing. And I'm not... She's just not doing it, okay? All right. She's not doing it. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, y'all gonna make me take my um, kid's phone. She's gonna be sitting in the room doing like this. That baby ain't did nothing. That baby ain't did nothing. But I'm saying, you being that type of parent, it's gonna make your child keep things yeah, from I you. Talk, she comes talk to me about different stuff, though. That's the thing. I think it's, I think it's different. I think it's different because I'm, 
I allow her to come to me about different That's stuff. What's up. So That's what's up. I don't know. Okay. Any last thoughts? Somebody? What my daughter's y'all thing? Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm letting mine go. I'm sorry, man. You ain't gonna let yours go? I, I send, I send, oh, I send, on, I send the diapers. I what? buy the meatballs. But they can't go. So what you going? It might, it like might jump out. It's gonna jump out that cake, you know. Oh, look, she's getting gifts for her baby. It's cool. I, no, it's not. It's cool. just it's like I wouldn't. It's, okay, it's just, it, to, me, to me, to me, to me, to glorify whether she's gonna glorify her before glorified. she even came to you. To me, it's the same thing as sending my to you. You don't. You can't say that. You can't think for your child. You they cannot not. think for your child. No, you can't yeah. think for them. You, can't. you nope. can't, but I'm not letting mine go. I don't care right, and that's what I'm saying. It's because I, <laughs> so, it's because I disagree with the environment. Right. I, 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 it's, to me, it's no different than sending them to the club. You know what I mean? Like, no. Why not? Totally different. Why? That's not the same. Why? Why not? You can why not? Compare. Why not? It's exposing this them. This is a what's, friend what's, what's, that what's, has been through a traumatic. First of all, this friend. It's a celebration. Listen, this friend is no. You don't celebrate no, trauma. No, 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 listen. This friend has probably already been shamed, embarrassed, all this because they're thirteen and pregnant. So I'm sure. Is that not? People, is that not what happens when you get pregnant exactly, at thirteen? Right, that's what I'm saying. They've right. already been through all that. So. Usually, you have a baby shower later on in the pregnancy, right? They done already been through shame, the, all Thank the you. stuff. Okay. At this point, we can't punish the girl anymore. Let's okay. support Thank her because she probably already is upset. Thank she you. Let her pregnant. mom and her family support her. But this is her best friend. She's a child. Exactly. You don't think your She's daughter's going to get mad at you? And start I'm not a sitting child. here saying it's okay to be pregnant. I, I I'm just saying. understand why. No, I'm saying I'm that sometimes I'm sitting to her, and I'm not saying it's okay for you to get pregnant or that I want you to or I'm encouraging. I'm saying... Your support your friend. That's it. All right. That's all. Just support your friend. We're gonna we're gonna surprise. Hold on. Oh, we're gonna go ahead. You can first. Always, so Cause, cause, okay, cause, no, hold on. Cause. Just let me respond to this real go quick. Ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I agree with that to the fullest. I think where where we disagree is on the methods um, of, of support. Meaning that I'll I'll give her the Sam's Club gift card. Mm. I do all these things. Mm. Everything you were just talking about. None of that has to do with. Um, Pin the tail on a donkey or eating pudding out of a diaper. You understand right, what I'm saying? Right. Why? I, I I disagree with the celebration. That's why right. I say the thing about the club. If the club is just a celebration of us to fill on girls and. Your baby shower would be the same as a grown person's baby shower, though. You don't. Think I don't know. I'm saying I don't know. Because I've been stuff. to a couple. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Before, but what? But, but I, I, I I don't know what they do. They play, I seriously doubt they would. Because well, what are they? The well, what are what? They're going they they gonna eat the mushroom. They gonna eat the meatballs. You think your daughter is already celebrating her friend for being pregnant? You gotta be out your mind. That's different. Yeah, than, I'm, I'm not throwing. A, I'm not gonna throw a party though. So my daughter is but why? Not. That's so funny. Why, That's why is crazy. the celebration problematic? What is problematic about the celebration? It, it, I, it is, in my opinion, it leads to normalization. We celebrate. We like. That's why. Like. That's why. Like you said that about. A thirteen year old. You you said you said something about the thirteen year old. She done went through um you know eight months of shame and all these different things, and I'm you know this is no disrespect to any like uh, rape victims or anything like that. Right. But if, but if you knowingly, knowingly was hunting that little thirteen fourteen year old boy, then there may be because you're making grown up decisions. Right. There may be some level of shame that you need to experience. Right. Um, and that doesn't mean we, we trying to beat you down. How long but I can't protect you. I can't protect you. I can't protect you of that. Okay. It's, it's, I can't protect you from that. So just like karma. Um, if you got good karma coming, I'm not gonna get in the way of that. Right. If you got bad karma coming, I, I ain't getting aware of that either. Right. So uh, I'm just saying, there's ramifications for decisions that we make. I can't, the like... The ramifications of the, the baby that you, a 13-year-old, that you got to take care of. So why are we, so, so we throwing a party? So, okay, so what... That's all I'm saying. Why are we, why, why are we, are we doing... Do? Why are we doing the wobble to this? But... No, you know what I mean? Assuming that's what's going to. Well, what else happened at a? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that's what happened. Usually, but what else happened at a baby shower, man? A they eat the pamper. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 yeah, you know, yeah, they, you know, they gonna do that. You know what I mean? They do the wobble. They eat the meatballs. They get that dip. I've been up. You know, I know. So listen, if y'all think even to the time 
that your daughter's best friend have that baby. She done been her best friend for probably years by now. Thank you. And if you don't think your daughter is going to be telling her, congratulations, old Cindy, yeah. something. So, she well, gonna, listen, your daughter is going to celebrate it regardless. Anyway. And then you know what she's going to do? She's going to resent you. And she's going to resent you, exactly. She's going to blame you forever because you didn't let her go to that baby shower. That's what she's going to do. It's but a she baby gonna, shower. Either way, okay, you I don't have, think um, it's important, but she's going to, and she one of my, is going oh, to be upset. I can, I can go my, for that. One of my viewers says, um, I think you're right. The support a village still should wrap around that child. Say it again. A village should still wrap around that child. I agree. I agree. In that village, okay, so you be, agree. we should throw, we, we should throw a party. I, I mean, that's the village can support her without agree. throwing a party. We, we don't have to do the wobble. We, like, that's all I'm trying to say. Right. We don't got to rent the place out right. and decorate and all these different things. Yeah. You know, why are we celebrating this? We should not celebrate so, this. So the whole time, this little we should buy her all the diapers she needs. The whole time, even having a baby, she don't get. She no, can. Uh, trust me, like you say, she don't. But you want me to give her give her pet? You want me to right, give her pet? Give her pet on the back. Let's, 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 ahead, let's reverse the question. If this is one of y'all's child and this your thirteen year old child that was the one that had the baby, right? How do y'all think that that should go? I, would I wouldn't throw a baby shower. You can't even have a baby shower? I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw a baby shower. And I wouldn't, you know, as a father, I don't know if I would stop her, you know, okay, from having one. Right, 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 right. You, you know. Um, or are you going to say, I don't, don't want to You know, he know he's going. He going. Know he's going. Know you know he's well, going. Well, okay, look, no. Well, well, right. well, well, listen. Now you're asking me a question as a parent. No. So no, if it's my daughter. I don't even know if I do a baby shower. If it's my daughter, I mean, that's different. Or whatever, if you would like to send something, then great. But I'm not throwing a, a big What's celebration. It, I'm not throwing a baby shower. So, and what I'm saying, different, different. Are you gonna throw? All I'm saying, okay, look. Best this is what I'm saying. It's the parents. I'm saying if you would like to send something, perfect. So, if not, it's okay. Okay, check this out. What's the difference in me sending all her friends? That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say right now. Can you buy her for this for me? Listen, what I'm saying. I'm sending it to the parents and say because y'all already know. Because you having a baby shower and they bring it to her. Because it's a celebration. The parents that know it's a village helping us. Right, 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 right. However, right. I'm not about to have a celebration behind it. It's just like the parents, y'all already know what's going on. If the parents, if y'all would like to send something to my child, perfect. But I am not about to celebrate that and have all these 13 year old girls Listen, coming well, to back, this uh, because. Look, look, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Y'all don't know what y'all kids. Hold on, hold on. Just, know what I just, know. Know. just let me say this. Already, already looking up on right the internet. Or wrong or what you right. Already, you know the conversations. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. I agree. I agree. Me being a young man, and I was that little boy, and I can remember from Rollins Elementary going up under the round table, feeling on little girls when the teacher stepped out of the uh -huh. classroom. Yes, sir. You don't know what your child is already I experiencing in school. Mm. You don't know what they're into. Um, I agree. Especially. Go ahead. No go, no, go ahead. Say it because you keep on the side. So that's why I talked to my daughter at such a young age. Wait, I, I'm not thank, done. Thank hey, you. hey, you getting like Jared. You. Nope. No, I'm no, not so done yet. just because she's your sister, only she supposed to side with you. Okay, you're right. You're going to get a bell. I'll probably die. I'll probably die. And I'm going to So that's apologize. why I talked to her young because I do not know what her and her friends are talking about. But however, since I talked to her and I let her know, look. You're going to see stuff. You're going to hear stuff. You know right from wrong. I'm telling you, I'm giving you all this information. I'm giving you all. So even when you do hear so she's it, you to react. Exactly. Right. So that's what you have to do because, like I said, that's it why I did it. Because you're you're yeah, because ultimately it's her decision. Right. And she like does. And that's the thing. All you can do is just talk it's to them. Just equip them. them. And so what do they have to do? And hopefully they, they make it. Let, right. right. let me answer. That's what I'm trying to okay, answer this. Okay, look. At all times... It's about me being a parent and a father. At all times, okay. So look, so so I'm trying to I'm trying to address both scenarios. So when it's my daughter's friend, I gotta be. The, I still I'm a parent here. I gotta to me not celebrating that. That's my form of protection and guidance, right? right? Protection from what? If I may ask. Protection, here. protection from normalization of. Teenage pregnancy, if ever. But let, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm not done. The other scenario, my daughter actually having the baby. She now, I wouldn't say I haven't failed as a parent, but but the damage is done. Mm -hmm. So my form of support, I, it, I can't really preach. Let's not normalize this. Let's not because we in this shit now. So yeah, I might be in there carrying the meatballs now. That don't that don't mean I agree with this shit, but I'm still I'm still her father. 
No, they don't listen to no secular no, music. Do. No, no. Okay. They now what they do do. I just said do do. Uh, so they don't know, no what they let's right. tell you what okay. they do you is their devices. Their devices. They they they. And I'm saying this because I want you to uh, go on with this. Mm. Um, that TikTok. So they know yeah, they TikTok. listen. Yeah. So they so hear everything. I don't allow them to listen to it, but they got TikTok, so they hear everything. Right. So when you say you don't want to normalize this, it's so anything that you pull up on TikTok, all the music, all of the songs. So that's why I quit. That's the same thing I said. All, I equipped. All they talk about. I equipped my child because and, even if you're gonna see, I go, it, I go, even I go if you're hear it, huh? I'm telling you that this is not okay. I agree, I agree with that. All I can do is equip you and tell you what's you know what's okay, what's not okay. But you're gonna eventually you're gonna make your right, own but decision. That's still normalizing, right? It. No, but you're gonna make because, that is. no because you're gonna make your own because decision. You're decision to but I'm telling you, over and over. So you no, say you, you say you're no. equipping them. I'm equipping for, them to know the right from right and wrong. What's so not then, okay? So yeah. Yes. So there. So to your point. You've already equipped them. Your child is not the child that's pregnant. Your child know right from wrong. Your child right. is not the one that's gonna do these things. But your child is just going there. I already know. I'm your child, right? I already know. My mother has told me this is something that I don't want to participate in, but this is still my friend, and I just want to support her. I know Thank that it's you. not right. I know that my mother has told me, and I'm still going to follow what my mother said. The only reason I'm going here is to support my friend. That's but it. it's not It's it's not about, at that point, support. It's about all the stuff that they're doing to celebrate this union, and it's not something that we should do because it's not to normalize it. It's the celebration. It's not about support. But, but I'm, I'm still going to support child, my I still friend. Understand that I don't want to. But I'm still going to support my friend, and I'm going to be there for my friend. But it's just celebrating her, a teenage, just like he said, a teenage pregnancy. Right. So, so uh, we talked about this last week. We weren't here, and we were talking about um, like youth violence and gun violence and that sort of thing. And then we we brought up um, the old argument of: is it the music? Is it society? Or is it the parents? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so what I'm saying is, I think that's what I'm hearing here. So, and what we kind of concluded was they're gonna they're gonna hear stuff from their friends, mm-hmm. um, but we all did stuff with our, our that our parents taught us not, you know, that told us not to do, and we still did it. Yeah. So, I think what it really comes down to is it's kind of like both of what what you guys are saying. Um, yes, we gotta equip them as much as possible. You know, give them the game, show them what's out there. But uh, but ultimately, they have the decision to listen to us. And they I have the decision. The exactly. And, and so so we got to give them the game, give them, you know, my dad, my granddad did the same thing with my mom. And, you know, my dad did it. You know, you're supposed to do that. But then I think I said it even last week. I've done things. My mom, she, yeah. not, you know, and she had nothing to do with that. You know, yeah. she didn't put me so up to that. Right, you know, and she did her best. So it's like, you know, there's nuance there. You know what I mean? For you both. Best, you're still going to make the decision that you make. Exactly. And we all as kids have certain moments in our mind where we can say, man, this happened and this really stuck with me. This was something that was really important to me. And my parent didn't let me do this. Or didn't, yeah. didn't let me. Right. And for some reason, it's always something that might not be that important, but it's something that stuck with me. Mm-hmm. And it's like, mm. why... Am I gonna? If that's something that's that important to this child, I'm not gonna take that away. Well, from so you know what you them. do, just like everybody just else have done. When you get all the ghosts, go see a shrink. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what else. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to say? What do you want from me? Jesus, my shrink. Hey. <laughs> what do you? Let me stop playing. Let me stop joking. Had done hey. in the past, it's like. Oh, my yeah, mother, help, hey, I'm still working on her. My y'all. mother didn't let Don't me worry do about this. It. I, I'm still I'm working on my, y'all. Still have you. Yeah. My thing is, y'all was talking about you know protecting your child from it, and I mean. You can't. You saying you can't? You can't. You because can't. before you even knew, what do you do then? You can't. But I'm still gonna be a parent. Yeah. What do you do? You know, I'm what do you just I'm throw the towel about, in? No, 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 I'm sorry, bro. My bad. It's all about like like me and Trish are trying to say. That's my bad. Supportive. Oh my bad. No, no, you did. Being supportive, you know. Um, teaching your child, for one, you know, the importance of being a supportive okay. friend. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you said, you're already so instilling, I'm talking, you've already instilled in your child the right and the wrongs. And just like all of us, and like you just said, regardless of what your parents instill in you, you still going to make your own mm-hmm. choices. Regardless. It's the point prison point full of people with good parents. parents. You know, so, the so the whole time, her daughter done find out, um, your daughter's friend done find out she's friend. they 
they're talking about this. Yeah. But they that's based. Based. she's managed to not still get pregnant and she's throughout eight, the whole time. Throughout the, the eight whole months. Time. Whole time. Whole time. She's got a lot of childhood left, man. Nothing. You know it's what I'm saying? It's not going to be like, oh, wow, now <laughs> yeah. you got to this baby shower. Now I think I want to do that. Because Cause cause just because of this baby shower. That's exactly. so much fun. I, I, I mean, mean, hey, so guess what? so nice that I think I want to get pregnant. That I want to get pregnant. Exactly. So why? That's a good thing about different Okay, that's extreme. But the other extreme. The other extreme is, why are we doing the cha cha slide to this? Exactly. You understand? So, where's the middle here? Why are we making this scene? Why are we cool. spending this money to cool. decorate and, and why are we doing this? Why are we, cool. why are we doing that? that? I'm with y'all. Job, that don't have a job can't support this child and I have to fund all of this stuff. Right. I already got to do that. Right. Exactly. I already got to buy the diaper. Why, 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 why are we doing all of this and paying for decorations? Yeah. This child don't have a job to do that. Thank so, you. why are we even doing this? This, this, this kid don't even. The child don't have, don't have a job to have to throw their own birthday. She ain't got nothing. This is, That's this my is point, not, man. We, we That's what I'm saying. Uh, we can't reward it. We can't reward it. We can't reward. Yeah, I'm not about to celebrate this because it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay. Because her child it is also my niece. So as I said, oh Lord, okay. You gonna throw? You gonna throw the party? She's not going because. Well, let's hope it never comes to that. We ain't gotta worry about that. No, so that's the next question. Yeah, you. You'll never. Let's hope you never. Let's hope you never win that argument. All right. Um. This one I think is pretty cool. Um, uh, ask you this first, Chish. If a person breaks up with you, it will most likely be because of what? Mm. You fart you mm. did you fart in your sleep? Um, <laughs> if a person breaks up with you, it will most likely be very self reflective no, question. I, think that's I can't really put that out here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll give, hey, you give, you give, you give us some clues? Yeah, what is it? That's I mean, so it funny. Is, she said, I can't well, believe that. Okay. Like, well, flaw? let me say, I guess I could say from my past experience. Okay, there we go. Low, 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 low. I burned it back. Low, 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 low. I don't know. I might have been a little. Um, mm. Maybe. Like, I could have been a little. Aggressive? Yeah, too aggressive. Maybe too critical. Maybe my standards were a little too high, or so somebody you think that's that's reason somebody might leave you for that. I might have been like maybe hypercritical. I'd say. I'd okay, like, okay, okay, okay. You know, it's just too much. They, maybe they feel like they can yeah. never please me. Maybe mm. I'm just. Uh, okay. yeah, okay, like impossible I'm not standards. That way Impossible okay. standards. Something mm -hmm. tells me that was like a euphemism right there, man. That was just a good answer that wasn't like the <laughs> real one. Yeah, we we like, wanted the after dark <laughs> answer, man. Yeah. Um, what about what, what about you, bro? We, 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 we're in, we're in with you. Yeah, why would somebody break up with you, man? Or what's the most, you know, somebody break up with you would most likely be because of what? My trust issues. I was about to say, just name mm. one. How, how, does that man, how does that manifest? What does that look like? I have a tendency of pushing women away. From because mm -hmm. you know, um, I don't trust them. You know what I'm saying? But what do you do to push? Them? Right, right, right. How does that look? How I'm does, very the text message thread. How does, is it messing up their heads or something? No, I, I guess they say I'm too nonchalant. Mm. Mm. That's, that's what I was talking it's about. It's not me it's being tough. tough. It's like I really like okay. If you're doing something, you're doing something. I mean, ain't that's nothing to do that's about it. Tough, you don't you care. Know I so do why care. Are we doing this? Because mm. if I didn't care, I wouldn't be with you. But show you know what I'm saying. So I do care. I'm going to talk to you about it, but if you, you, you know. Just not I actually lie. agree with you on this one, brother. I got yeah, to. Like, because it, because if it's not that I don't care, but it's, if I got to worry about that, then why, it's why are we doing it if I got to worry about thank that? Thank you. Well, you not worry I mean? about like, it, but it being not your Obviously, you're not on the job of making me feel secure in our relationship. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Because some of that, you got to be secure before me. Like, I can I can do only what I can do to make you feel secure. I just think I some, do so much. All right. I just think some women. My bad. Work on that yourself. I just say some women they want to know that you care to the they point don't. where they will facilitate, you know, like little fake scenarios to see if you'll care or not. See if you know, which I think that's I, mean, I think that's I think, I think that's kind of psycho, check. man. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because, well, because why are we doing why, that? Why are you testing me though? Exactly. Exactly. But that is we agree. Like, Look, everybody. If they agree for different reasons. If they're doing all that. 
Then that means that you're not expressing yourself enough. And but, she shouldn't be doing that, period. But, that sounds crazy to but, me. Period. But obviously she likes you, so that's why she's doing it. Right. She wants you she to show her that she cares. Right. Girls do that, man. Yeah. They do, they do saying, little fake little tests you, you need to saying, pass, man. She's not making me feel secure, you know. How is she not making you feel secure? Though? Whatever, what, she, what what, whatever she's doing. Like, okay, like me, <laughs> I think I'm a little too attentive at times. So I get accustomed to your patterns from... I don't care, Diane, you go pick the kids up from the daycare when you get off work, you gotta stop by your mama house, grocery store, whatever. Time of the day, like I pay attention to everything. So when I start noticing your pattern is changing. Oh, what? You know, Ooh, y'all too high. Y'all have y'all y'all that's why men be single for the rest of their life, cause y'all But then like, it gets back to being single with a bunch of dogs. Oh my god. You, you change your route about? one day. Sometimes I like to it's take like a different stuff. route. I might have stop what? somewhere. Hold on now, hold on. Y'all were just saying that consistency was so important. I made a detour, Jesus. That's it's not so much of that, but okay. If I'm saying I'm home waiting, um, uh oh, uh -oh. I'm home waiting, uh, for you or whatever. I might want to surprise you. You know, what I'm saying I got, you know, some. I got a surprise. An uh, hour later, she ain't made it home yet. She ain't called. No nothing. Damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What if a phone died? What if something happens? Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Now, see, y'all, it's so funny how y'all women can always talk about these what if situations. But then if a man come up with these what if, what if, um. It's speculative, skeptical. Exactly. Because yeah, yeah. you know, I'm not about to be with anybody that, you know, if they're pretty consistent, if something happened, then something has really happened. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not about to. Actually. Right. Like, that really happened. Okay. Because I'm not going to be with anybody that I feel like I have to so. What did you say you were doing? Right, 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 right. That is craziness, man. That's craziness. I'm not going to argue with you. That's me. I don't do too much arguing. So we're going to talk about something. I'm going to say how I feel about it. And I'm done. Do not keep asking me the same thing in different forms because I'm just going to look at you in silence. What do you mean by that? Like if you ask me a question and I'm going to answer it. Now, just because you're not satisfied with my answer, don't keep asking me the same question over and over again. Mm. Don't do that, because then I'm not going to answer it no more. I'm just going to look at you. <laughs> I'm for real. I'm just going to look at you. That's too much. That's so That's communication. If you no, ask, how is that not communicating? Because I if you ask me something. Okay, so if, I, you, go ahead. if I ask you a question, you give me an answer that I maybe I didn't understand, maybe I didn't like the answer, whatever the case may be, and now you like, I'm not I don't have nothing else to say. Maybe try asking, what is it that you need from me? Why can't How can't you just we... accept my answer? Maybe your answer isn't something that I can process, and we need to try to discuss it. Maybe we can ask a different question. Something can... We just learn how to communicate so that we can... Yeah, like, why I gotta be so much argument? Like, just, I mean, like... It's a give and take. Like, obviously, I don't understand. Like, you want to be in a relationship. You want everything to be smooth and happy. And, like, if we got to go back and forth or I'm going to just look at you. And I just, it's no, it's, you know how when they say, I should, never mind, I'm not going to say that. Say when, it. When the. It might be inappropriate. No, I was oh. about to say, you know, when the wife, woman's happy, then the house is happy. Yeah. Like yeah. That, happy yeah. It's, it's, it's just it. like, it's That's like, it. it's certain That's stuff it. that. All we ask asking is a statement. question, so why not just, you know what, most of the time what she wants you to say, or you know what I mean? Like, but y'all will do that on purpose, like, don't give the answer that she wants just because, because you feel like it's like a dominant thing, like, I just told you what I said. That's not what I'm asking you. What I'm asking you is... Isn't like, that kind of the dominant thing like, you just no said? Like, you. yeah, so, no. like, you don't want to be... Like, why don't you just do it? You're going to answer this question the way no, I want you to answer it. Yeah, why don't you, don't you just do it? You don't want to be no, dominant. It's just like... It's not even that serious. Like, why we even have to take it there if you just, like, why, you why can't it phone? just be... Just oh, do it. I missed your phone call. Oh, any other time you got your phone. No, oh, you said it. Because we don't really know a situation. You okay. know but I mean? if I'm like, telling you, somebody, you know, listen, so hey, got, you know how many times, listen, you know how many times I've left my phone literally in the car, and then anybody that knows me, I know quite a few people. So I could be literally coming out of the gas station, yeah, and I might have, I, I've literally talk for like hours at a gas station especially for someone i haven't saw in a while or you know we just talking about something or whatever and my phone might be in the freaking car but i might be over the day car you know what i'm saying you don't call me two or three times you might have wanted me to bring something to eat tonight i don't know but then i'm telling you oh i was still at the gas station like you were just at the gas station an hour ago yeah, I'm, like, I'm still at the gas yeah. station. I'm not about to have a conversation. I'm not about to go back and forth with you when I know I'm telling the truth and all because you don't believe it. Can I, can I interject? So, 
most of the time, okay, so if we have kids or something like that, you, you just like, I think it's just more about being understanding. The kids hungry, we waiting on daddy, whoever, to mm. come home and bring the food. <laughs> bring the food. <laughs> 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 bring, I'm going to look at somebody else. Bring the, <laughs> bring the food, but it's just inconsiderate. But you at the gas station still for an hour still talking, but the kids are, where is he? Uh, he yeah. I'm hungry. He said it was going to be on my hour ago. So that's the thing. It's just like sometimes the argument, it could be, you know what I mean? It's then y'all just, just say situations come up, things happen. But you might kids have to are detour. hungry. This is our children. And you uh, hey, right, I'm, so listen, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to get the food. Like <laughs> but I'm running my mouth. Hey, I'm talking. I get it. I get it. I'm just, I'm just trying to create a scenario. And I'm creating one back. But let me, okay, okay. But the thing is, uh, you can say something to me in one way, and I might be cool with it. And mm -hmm. you can say something, the same thing to this person, and they. Right. I'm not okay with that at all. That's I think that, that just co goes with you have to know your partner and how you can right. communicate with them right. so that they'll understand and be able to, you know, be comfortable with what you're saying. Right. But you can't just take that approach with every person you with and just be like, I this what is I what said. I said. Number. No, because if you tell right. me that and you with me, <laughs> what? Yeah, we ain't going to do that. <laughs> yeah, but some other woman, you know, right. might be cool. That yeah. I think that you have to be able to communicate with that person in a way that they will understand right. it because i know that like you for me if i'm with somebody i usually understand how i need to talk to them and that could be considered manipulative i don't know but i understand them mm -hmm. enough to know if i say this in this way they're gonna get mad if i say it in this way they're gonna accept it so i'm gonna think of how i can say this so that way they'll be more comfortable That's or real. pleased with what i'm saying right. i agree i agree That's smart. Although women don't it's not coming. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on to the next question, man. <laughs> He's gonna um, work on. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 on. I, I am, man. It's just I hate going back. You don't want to work on because, it. like, if I am telling the truth, like, you like, like what do you want from me? I'm not yelling. I'm not art. I'm not. I'm not cursing. Like I say, I'm at the gas station. It's been plenty of times the kid was hungry. Guess what? They had to wait for me to finish cooking. <laughs> so don't try to make it seem like it's a big deal because oh that's different. I'm like running cooking. late now. Now it's a big deal because I'm running late. No, that's different you know? though. You just talking, being inconsiderate. Ain't you no cooking, progression, you man. See the food cooking. You just being a jerk. And then it's hungry. not being a jerk. I'm literally <laughs> no, I've lost track of time. I'm running my mouth. These babies you know. hungry. That's good. Women just got you, man. All right, uh, we got. You married. Oh, you're married? No, 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 I'm so sorry. I mean, no, no, I mean so congratulations. No, no, yeah. I did the no, same. Well, I did. I did the, I did the same thing. I'm pleased to be roommates. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I didn't. I'm not married. I am. We are not okay, married. good to know. I mean, I won't make that mistake again. Yeah. You oh, both no, are. Campbell you girl. both are formally. Campbell formally girl. married. Yeah. Formally married. <laughs> <laughs> the wedding rings come with. Timers. I want to be married. No, you, you. Have you ever been? Have, have you ever been married? Have you ever been married before? Never been married. Okay, me neither. And you want to be with some of them answers? Uh, one day, you one do? day, I would. You do? Uh, one you day. Is that seemed impossible? I would definitely get married again. I mean, I mean, in a, in a, in a perfect way. What I'm asking is, right? I don't know. You've been married before. How long were y'all married? Married for six, seven years. That's a good length. Yeah. Six years, six, seven years in a relationship for nine. Nice. And you were married seven years? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, all right. I, I, I'm, only asking this I'm only asking this because of the question. Yeah, yeah. Hey. For the shorter. All right. Um, The question is, and I'll ask you this, Trisha. I'm picking on you tonight. Um, and I asked this, and I thought, I thought you would. Anyway, is it okay to date someone who's married but still separate, but separated? And that's, Don't be looking at your sister. That's one of them terms, <laughs> the loose that, terms that people use. I think um, yeah. if you're married and separated, I think you need to be actively... Um, I'm trying to get out of it. Right, right, right. Well, 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 this is the thing. Right this is the thing, this is the thing about that. This is the thing about that. The question is not about you being married, but the other person. So, mm. and when you first meet somebody, I'm just trying to put it in, you know, a, like a realistic perspective here. Because, all right, with, with the question at least, 
the question is really the decision to date this person. So, you know, we meet people you, and, and a person. So I guess what I'm uh, what I'm really trying to get to you is you're taking everything on face value because obviously they, they don't have the documents that they're right, filing. Right, right. So you meet this person and they tell you, yes, I'm trying to get out of this relationship. I'm married, but I'm separated and I'm in the process of going through it. Here lies your decision. Yeah, now you make your decision. I probably would just because I have been divorced, so I understand what that process looks like. Okay, okay. I know some people probably would be a little skeptical, but as long as, okay, if you're living alone, you know. Right, right, right. Okay. There's other factors. Yeah, after dark, because y'all probably still live. Yeah. As long as everything is still There's other factors. I'm with that. That's smart. Like, we could be seen in public. Right, 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 right. Cool with it, I, I I I love that. I love that because that's what that's a realistic answer. Well, that also comes with limitations, though. I'm okay. Not gonna do that with you for too long. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Some progress saying that divorce is gonna happen, and if it right. don't happen at a certain point, COVID, man, man. man. it stopped the courthouse, man. <laughs> <laughs> for five years, man, they backed up. Nah, um, what, how do you how do you feel about that, Michelle? Nope. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not gonna be dating me. Oh, if he's still married, you ain't gonna date him. Not date me, no, because there's too many other single men out there. Okay, mm-hmm. you you talk about that. I'm gonna I'll go to that after you answer that. I, I, I say we need to talk about that next. Does that sound like me? You disagree. Back you, back you disagree on like, demographics. Um, uh, but you, I want to answer. Don't you answer first, bro? You 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 talking yes. to the separated woman? Yes, done it. I uh, think now times and not doing it no more. I think the women really play on that separate. They know they're not finna this up. What's that, man? And men not either. They they don't be. They gonna get right back. Men just lie and don't say they're married at all. (laughs) But women, they do that separated thing. That's that's been my experience. I could be wrong. I don't don't know about that. I could be wrong. Yeah, because women are usually, you know, more like the marriage is. It's like a. I don't know. Like they they traumatize that it's even going on. I think you know what I mean. It's a lot when men women get separated. Man, you dis you man, you totally disagree on this. I was. I know. I know one thing for that's a fact. And we talked about this a little bit last week. Is that women in relationships more than men? Especially we if you're talking them, you said we end, end them. them. Yes, they, like yeah. men, women divorce men. It's not but it takes a long time, though. Get away with a lot of stuff. I'm right. not saying. I'm not saying that. You right. said that that's last week. You said that last week. I understand. Different. Yeah. But 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 women are the ones that end the relationship, and it, and not just in marriages, but they the ones that block you that get rid of your ass, yeah. basically. Um, anyway, um, I'm gonna let you finish your thought though, because I think man, you need to do we do need to talk a little bit about something else. But you you, you finish what you were gonna say. Yeah, like I was saying, it's. I agree with you. Women they do end relationships, you know, more than men. But I think it's, I mean, after It's a the men's time, fault, though. No, it, it was well, definitely the men's fault. But <laughs> I feel like. definitely the men's no, fault. No, but I'm nothing. saying, but I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Women, they put up with so much, and after a certain period, it's just like, look, I can't do it anymore. I've held on for too long. And most of the time, it's years and years and years down the line. So I feel like when they're separated, it was traumatizing for them to even get here because they didn't want to really end their marriage. It's just, it was too much stuff, and it, it had to end. You know what I'm saying? So when they get here, it's just like, I think they're more so. They're, they're telling the truth. Like, it's gonna... Uh, the Kelly, process. he made the song When a Woman Set Up. When a woman she's she's out of there, man. Exactly. And that's what it is. That's real shit. Any other thoughts? Mm-mm. Anything Trish? Mm-mm. Nope. Oh. You were saying something yeah. before. Yeah. You join. You don't let it go? I don't remember. That's no. my bad if I cut you off, it's bro. okay. Do that more. No. Um, <laughs> now, what I want to talk about with you. You said a few times tonight. And I wanted to say something every time you did. You said <laughs> about men. You said, that's why these niggas, I didn't say niggas. But you said, uh, that's, why these, that's why y'all don't be getting mad. That's why y'all be by yourself. That, I think, is a very misleading. <laughs> Only because men, especially black men, um, they definitely get married more than black women. So we do, that's one thing. But, um, they, well, let me say, get, get, they, they are married more than black women. But uh, but no no no, and the other thing is that I that I feel like I think that you're missing when you say that is that, and I don't think nobody at this table will um, disagree. But if you do, I, I really want to hear. Um, women desire to be married more than men. So so mm-hmm. meaning that when you say okay niggas don't get married, yeah, but a lot of dudes they just don't care about that. Uh, they care about that when they're like fifty, you know what I'm saying, or forty or some shit like that. But they they don't. 
So, so I do, but it's it's not gonna be like See, man. Fix it. No, no, no. I told you. I do want to get married, oh, but I'm careful. not gonna wait for somebody to figure it out when they're oh, 50 oh, years yeah. old. Nah. No, nah, you don't wait on nobody that long, but. No. Yeah. And I ain't about to be marrying you at 52. I, I mean, I need somebody that's young. Like, if you can't, if you're younger and you don't have that figured out that you want to get married, nah, we're going to end it. Now you 50 years old, you want to get married? Nah. Please. No. That's married. rough, man. It's rough out there in these streets, man. All right. Um, Any thoughts on any of that? No. I don't want to just move on. I just need to get together. I think we all do. I go for that, but only if you agree that y'all do too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, do, I don't I'm saying, mind us saying I don't... wise, like mental wise, as far as you know, in a relationship and building something with someone. I think sometimes y'all mentality just be a little. I go for that. I think I think it's both of us. I, I don't think it's e I don't think it's either way. I think it's definitely balanced. I think you guys. Have your own people. sets Certain of mentality and and your own sets of <laughs> of perspective, and I'm talking about group thinking, Not like yeah. Job and job I think we got our issues too. I think we should treat y'all better, all of that. But I think y'all should respect us more and treat us better too. Like I think that's never mind. Well, how do we not jerk for president now? Um, Let's hear him out. Well, one one thing that I think shouldn't even be in. Um, uh, an argument within the black community is okay. the role of of, of fathers and, and dads. You you literally have people arguing. I see this all the time. I mm -hmm. probably should have put it on here. Uh, there's actually an argument for can a woman raise a man? You ever see these arguments? And can I mean, a woman raise a man? What yeah, the rest of it? yeah. Can a woman raise not raise a man? Can a woman raise a boy to be a man? And all these different mm -hmm. things. And I think these kind of questions. They just automatically show and, and, and reveal that we just have no value for our men. So our That's women. Because remember, we were talking about last week Go about ahead. how important it is for a man to be in a child's life. That's yeah, I think week. we agree that yeah. with that, but I, and I think I think a lot of black women do agree yeah. with that too. I'm not saying that, but I do think that it because of external uh, conditions that's no fault of their own. I think we've normalized and we even believe now that like. Okay, you ain't got no dude around uh, around this family that that desperately needs him. It's perfectly fine, and, well, and you'll they just be figure it out because they have to. Yeah. Agree, yeah. I I I I I agree with that, but that, that doesn't make it um. What do you do? That doesn't. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's their fault. I'm not saying that they did anything wrong. I'm saying the conclusion that. Okay, let me say it like this. When you see a woman, a woman who, uh, who who's in a situation by herself, mm -hmm. doing the job of two people by herself, and mm -hmm. the kids come out perfect, they're good, right. um, that's in spite of um, mm -hmm. any, any, it, there's, there's so much scholarship on this. It's very, it's nothing to even argue about. But any any um, regular, like, social scientist can just look at a situation <laughs> and, and tell you, Two parents, not 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 just two parents, but children do better educationally, health wise, all the different things when there's two parents compared to one. And what we've done is we we now argue if if it's like like when we argue, can um a man raise a woman? I mean, I'm sorry, can a woman raise a boy to be a man? We basically just took the whole guy out of the situation now, and now mm -hmm. and that I think. I think not not all of us, and I think a lot of our women find this out too late. But I think that um, we a lot we of our well, I just think a lot of men have accepted that mindset. You know what I mean? So now, and you have kids that come up, and we we have kids that come up, and they end up figuring stuff out too late. You know what I mean? You have our girls find a lot of our girls don't really see what it looks like to be with a man until they're with a man. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even know what to do. And then the vice versa, you got these dudes who are trying to run these families. They don't even know what that shit look like. And now you're doing all this stupid stuff to this girl. And you don't even know. You know what I mean? So, um, and that I don't think is either in anybody's fault from either way. But I do think that um, you know, because of these outside things, we both get hit with these we both get hit different ways, but then we fail to see that it's because we're together while we're getting hit with this shit. So that's why I always say I don't lean towards either way too much because I think it's both of us that kind of have our issues. It's both of us that have, and, I, and and this is the one thing I will say, and I might you guys can disagree uh, uh, and tell me how you feel. I do think that our women have uh, a problem admitting this. Mm -hmm. 
I admit, I admit that we don't mind saying we ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but with, with our women, you have a certain class of women. Excuse me. You have a certain class of women who are, you know, good women doing the right thing. But what happens is, because women stick together, man. Mm-hmm. What happens is the women that know a lot of, because uh, amongst each other, they talk about this shit. They know some women ain't shit. Talking to you. I probably talk more than we do. Oh, we definitely yeah. do. I don't know about. I don't know about. I ain't saying. I ain't saying we, we talk more, but we definitely we talk. Have our we do talk. But what I'm saying is, women know. Women know that there are other women that ain't shit. But a a good woman will take up for a woman that ain't shit in the general conversation. Yeah, and blame it on the man. And I don't understand. No, we'll say that nigga ain't shit, man. They'll only say that if they want that girl. No, no. I don't agree with that. They don't want I ain't gonna girl. disagree with that, but I ain't saying I ain't gonna say that's the only time though. But I, I will say that might have a lot to do with it. And his girlfriend, and knowing this man ain't no good, will okay. say nothing. Be around this girl all the time. Go to a house. I go for that. Y'all hanging yeah. out. You, you that's like bro code. Bro code. Bro code. You still ain't gonna say nothing. You gonna call this girl sis. Hey sis. You hugging her? Right. You yeah, thing. yeah, they do the same thing. They do no, the same thing. No, because we'll tell our friends, bruh. Yeah, but, oh, so but y'all don't think a man, we'll, we'll, y'all don't think we'll, men check their homeboys? We'll tell them, and we'll distance ourselves from But you don't think men... But y'all would know about it, but y'all would still be coming around. And women do the same, and women do the same thing. That's not true. No. If I got any homeboys, anybody that know me, y'all can ask my homeboys, man. I've always, if they wrong, they're wrong. Exactly. Point, I think point, I think a lot. Point. I think more men are like that than women. Yeah, I, I could be tell, wrong. I Listen, I, think, I, I could be dead wrong about that. But the thing about it is, oh. I can tell my homeboy they wrong all day twice on Sunday. He's still gonna do what the hell he wants. Okay, wanna that's do. true. Okay, like, just because he still choose to do what he want to do, that don't mean like, oh, I just accept it or I, my loyalty is with him. It's not with you. Well, so I'm not gonna come and tell you like Trish, man. Let me give y'all you know, an example, dog, man. You know he he keep fucking up, man. He fucking with old girl. I'm not gonna do that. Nah, but I'm not gonna nah. do that. How can you respect this I'm man not gonna do that. A friend, I, I don't know. I Listen, okay. so guess what men do? You know what men do? We mind our business. We stay. Let out me of give you an example. Yeah, That's what right. we do. Good, good. How can you let this person do this to this? I mean, this girl that you know what I mean? Because for one, I don't know what you done did to him. Right. I really don't know. I think we are gonna take that. That ain't my business. I ain't gonna get into that. I understand that. My loyalty, your loyalty is not. To me, if I'm his girlfriend, right, right, right. right. But don't call me sis. Don't. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. If you know this man, straight up. Don't even speak to me. My man is cheating, and you, you know what I'm saying? Don't come to my house like you know he dogging me out. Hey sis, one thing for him. I don't know about that. I'm just gonna stay out of that shit, man. You don't get to the toe because I choose to stay out of it. I'm just gonna stay out of your business. But you know this man. But if he, if he say, bro, don't be calling me sis, and I'm thinking that we friends. I think you like me too. I know that your loyalty is with him, but I have. If you're calling me sis. Respect me, right. I'm thinking right. that you like me too, and you respect me. Okay, so like we build that. a relationship at this point. Right. So See, to like, men, to men, if I go back and tell you, that's that's like no, the ultimate. T- I'm not saying tell like, me. Like nah, but it's just man. Like I mean, like, I feel like you need to stop hanging out with him like, much like, because like I don't respect I you for doing this. Like I'm not about to have no homeboys. That's just blatantly. Ain't that on your dude though? That's not really on his partner. So don't. I mean, I feel like just I about to start hating me, but. She okay. had to realize, like, it's not me. There's nothing. I'm not making him do what right. he's doing. Right. Right? Now, just because, you know, yes, did we become friends because of him? Yes, we became friends because of him. Now, I'm still your friend. Now, but my loyalty is with him, though. That doesn't mean I'm not with your friend. I mean, I'm standing out of y'all business. I'm minding yeah, my business. But it's just I'm like they, right, that they have. So, I mean, yeah, you're still, head. I mean, that's something that you're... Allowing him, I mean, like, it's just like, it's it's not, like I'm not allowing nothing because I can't, like, there's nothing I can do about it. He, he, uh, he, like, you know what I mean? Stop hanging out with him mm-hmm. as much. Be like, bro, you need to, because I don't oh, respect no, no, you. No, 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 no,
Even no, if I do accept out, him, everybody like, gonna, ain't nobody gonna be. You cut out the whole family, right? one band, one sound. But, but, mean, like, but that's the thing. Even if I, I accept him back or whatever, I still feel. I'm still never gonna speak. I'm never gonna speak. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's right. that. I'm, right. listen, that's why. That's why I'm not getting in that shit. Hell, I don't even know who he, he messing with. Because he ain't going to so, talk to me for telling you. So I, 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 what I'm saying I, I, is, out of respect to me, you need to be like, bro, I can't even, you know what I mean? I'm going to back away from you I'm, because men will, never, men, ne- men will never do that. Man. I don't see females real. doing that. Yeah, I don't see females, females don't do that either. I do not either. see females stop hanging out with their homegirls, and I know plenty uh-huh. groups of females. I'm not about to go, yeah. would, because I'm not about to, go to this That's man real like, shit, bro. You said some shit. Exactly, you're not going to do that. Just like a man is not going to go sis. Oh, yeah, they do be doing that. Yeah, they do. A lot of dudes be trying to... And they still take yeah, boy Yeah, that, that might be some creep shit, Who take though? boy trips? Man, we talked about it, man. Men do no. not take... Our boy trips mean yeah. we just better go down here to Orlando. Yeah, we go to the game. Ain't no boy... Ain't no man. Right. Hey, that's why yeah. yeah. That's too real. Now, y'all, hold on, hold on, y'all took that. That was like some inside stuff, right there. No, what was that? No, my ex husband and her ex husband they were uh, roommates and friends, yeah. so they used to do it all the time. So I said maybe we just had it. Yeah. Oh, let me get out of that, man. I'm not, <laughs> not ever touching you that. Listen, um, the other thing was um, that went another different way that I met. What I was trying to say was, uh, well, I was gonna give an example of um, Jada Pinkett Smith and the entanglement thing. You understand? You don't see how like they cap for that for the, how women. Oh, well, yes, yes, they yes, made a they made a term well, Will for this. Agrees with it. He was cool with you it. You see what he I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, now look. It, with that, is that a, is that the kind of and I, and I understand what you're saying. That all can be true, but is that a conversation that would have been had if that was uh, Will Smith smashing no, some little girl? No, no. Would they be saying that? Oh yeah, she was cool with it. She been no, cool with it. Come no. on, man. They, they no. no. She had it. They was in it. Cause it, you think the Will Smith thing. You think that he don't have? Because even if she said, it, I'm, like, I'm, without she really said you your share. Like, you he said that. He said that. Will probably had quite a few, but I'm not saying that whole thing. I'm not he saying he did. I'm just saying. Swimmer, so I'm just saying. There's an obvious. Are, there's a. I think. A I just think that's an obvious yeah. uh, example yeah. of yeah. how yeah. women. Yeah. Look Same at things when women do something, or when when men do something. I think that's one of the best examples to show how women can be a little hypocritical on how they judge things. Yeah, I think if a man was doing that shit, it would have. That definitely girl wouldn't girl have been girl. no it, no new term called entanglement that that's oh, yeah, now yeah, added to our exactly. vocabulary. Exactly. He, you know, yeah, women, true. women, I, women, and this is too. I think this is one of their biggest. Strengths, and then I think it works against them sometimes too. But women, especially our black women, man, they stick the fucking together. They they right they it's group thinker. They they, they they might fight amongst each other, but they group they 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 the most powerful group on the internet. If they say some shit, that shit is gonna pop. I mean, if they endorse anything, Beehive. anything like any industry, anything. if they're a part of it, that bitch finna move. Whenever I go out to eat, you know what I see in restaurants? Nothing but black women in that bitch. Like like groups of them. Like you, you don't see no table full. You of don't black. see a table full of men. We don't. It, we might be at the basketball. Uh, uh, awards ceremony and some you know, shit, but <laughs> yeah, but we don't be in a, But it be really board. women that really, our, our women really control. Yeah. I mean, I mean popularity. I think, and I, I don't think that's a bad thing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, on what they head, no, we see you just. I just think I think it hurts sometimes because some. I think at certain points, and I don't think we got that problem here at this table at all. But I think, and and, and I don't think this problem is for a lot of. Our women, but I think at certain times it hurts them to not have that um, individual thinking that I think all men kind of have, which because men be trying to come up on each other. We don't care. Like it might be two men in the room. He think he runs. He I think I'm a, we, we we both think we the shit. You know what I mean? So it ain't like so. But with women, it's like um, they you know they they work together, man. A lot of times, I mean, I know there might be some infights, some shit I don't know about, but they really stick together. Like you know what I mean? Um, and I don't think that, I think that's what makes y'all powerful. To be honest, I think men can learn from that. To be honest, but anyway, any more thoughts on this? I feel like I've been talking a long time. <laughs> you got it, bro. Yeah, go ahead. You don't agree with that shit. You don't agree with that shit. You don't agree with that. Say what you. I think we can learn from that. And, and let me tell you why I say that. I used to I get think different than most I used to get women. mad when I used to see yeah, all this do. shit about women empowerment. Yes, you do. I do. I do commercials, well, and I always do a commercial. I always do a commercial every week. It's a women's empowerment event going on. Yes. And I used to get mad, like, damn, we do this women shit all the time, man. We need I help out here. It. I did. And then I had this young lady tell me, well, Jake, y'all need to do that for each other. No, and, but I, you know and, how women, I mean, 
Like we It's more jealousy amongst men, I think. That's what I'm women. saying. Like we not finna get oh, together like that. Y'all I think so. jealous of each other? We, we just had, compete. I think women it's have like hard. Well, not just, but more we, we, we go compete more, with each other. Girls too. Shoot, girls. I'm saying amongst each other. Oh, it take one no. mean girl to do yeah. a women in power. Yeah. All the other girls want to go. Doing something, they're gonna be like, and they're like, she didn't even know. nice to you, yeah. but you gonna pay them twenty five dollars to get that like, ticket. I think though, women. I should go write we a have, book. We've we've struggled so much, you know, with with rights and you know what I mean with different stuff. So I think now that's why they are empowering women so much. Because it's a constant struggle with, with women's rights and with us even work for anything. See, so I, I feel like, even for you to say, like, man, why all this women stuff? Men have always been in control, the head, and you know what I mean? So when women, we have to fight so hard and we mm-hmm. do a lot of stuff. It's so, women. Women. No, no, so, no, I don't, I don't agree with that, but you go. And uh, I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> most of y'all are, I don't know. But. Yeah, you're going to tell us about us. No, what? Most of us are what? What were you saying? Go ahead, yeah. Um, religious. <laughs> yeah. What? Christian based people. Um, Excuse me. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Every um, time. <laughs> but no, it's, it, it has always been instilled in pretty much all of us that men are the head. And I don't, I, I truly think a lot of women don't care for that, that whole men are the head. Oh, yeah. Because I'm like this here. If, if, if that is truly how we were created, for men to be the head, why can't women just accept, and I hate to say it like this, Accept your role as a woman and let the man do his part and y'all do y'all part and y'all come together. That's what I said. I think different. What's I her think role I as think a woman? whatever. Listen, yeah, whatever what is her the role, role is a woman? It, it depends on you know what I'm saying. Each relationship. We're talking about you. We're it asking you. Each rela- what do you, how I, I just do you said, feel? See what I'm saying? I how just said it depends on each you know each but relationship. I'm saying, oh, okay. Roles may be different. Oh, you know. Okay. Um, I, I I truly believe we are designed differently so we therefore we think differently mm-hmm. and i i think people want everybody to think alike they want the man and the woman to think alike and it's never going to happen mm-hmm. and as long as they you know they keep doing that we're going to always keep bumping heads bumping heads bumping heads and just accept your role and the man accept it just whatever that you know whatever that your role, role that, might be yeah, based on y'all relationship based on your relationship and how y'all and I, fit together. exactly right? and i think it'll be just fine yeah. Point blank. But you're trying that's to follow this me. standard. That but if you, you exactly, oh, really, that's where it don't work. It, that's it, exactly. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Trish. Golly, All right, right Trish. Trish, the boss of reason, man. Jeez. I think that's that's getting a lot yeah, of problems because everybody's still holding on to that. Has a role. Like I, I, I say, like I said, I hate society, that term to say a role because I know it does something to women when they be like, "Keep talking, keep talking." Exactly. That's why I said I hate to say that. Yeah, because even now too, just like we were talking about last time. Women usually make more than men. Yeah, so true. now for the head of household is that. But men, pride reasons, so we bump well, heads again because guys correct. feel like I'm head of household. I However, don't think women make more than men. It's just more women, which I think that's know, kind of no. like a sexist type thing. Oh, yeah. Like you could take the highest paid black woman, and whether it's a lawyer, second. doctor, whatever. And the highest paid man, he makes more than her. No, I'm saying, so I'm saying middle thing. class. And I, and, I, and, I don't, and I don't agree with this. No, so she's right. Now, like it's, class. it's more y'all women both, in the workplace than so, it is So me. don't say rich or whatever. Like the, I'm saying middle class, there's more. I mean, women usually make more than men. A lot of times. A lot of times. Right. Yeah. Well, look. Financial. Look, this, uh, this is, yeah. I'm so glad you said that. And this is kind of where I was saying I disagree with you on some things. Man, don't get on the time of something. When you were saying about women... And, and Malcolm X said it that women, uh, black women specifically, are the most suppressed. Uh, when right. you know about intersectionality, you know, right. saying I'm right. black right. animal woman, so I catch, you know, both of those things. Mm-hmm. I agree with that to a sense. The the thing is, and this is what what used to frustrate me about mm-hmm. all these women empowerment events. You know what I mean? It's going back to what you were just alluding to, which is black women. They number one in everything. So, I understand y'all have definitely traditionally been the I most oppressed, but they number one in everything. They really y'all. Should be, but and I'm not saying that. I'm not, not, I'm not saying that's not a bad. I'm not saying that's not a good thing. What, what I used to be frustrated with was black men are, are, are last at all that shit. So, see, like we should be having the empowerment shit going on. Well, y'all gotta do something. That's, that's what the girl said to me. She she said, you know, y'all so so so. That's why I say, you know, what I'm saying girls are better about that. You know, y'all better about looking out for each other. What this goes to. Is bringing all this together is obviously these traditional roles, which I mean, I talk a lot about with me. My my statistics and most of my info is is regarding black men and women that right. date each other. You know what I mean? 
But a lot of these traditional roles are things that we learn here in America. The American traditional roles, you know, the women in the, the women in the, the. Give me another word to use instead of roles, because I don't think women really like that. that roles, that um, roles. Um, I mean, I just let him finish talking. Yeah, tra- I don't think that's something that came to me. But I think that roles. <laughs> He's so crazy. Is it a, I think that role mm. is a good word. Maybe if you just take the gender part out. Right, right, so right. Like my role could be something. You and I like have strengths and weaknesses. So in a right, relationship, right. my role could be. And that's what the whole yin and yang. That's the yin and yang. Could be something. Whatever your strength is, right. and we right. play on that. So right. I think that it's just taking the 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 women's role and the man's role. It's just and that's role. what I'm right. trying to get right. to. Like right. okay. we learn these roles. So, um, you have here. We have we always split work, you know what I mean. We always we always went through stuff together. So now those traditional roles that that you know that we were involved in now things are changing because our our family dynamic has changed. Right. Now our women are really whooping shit. Now women are the CEOs. Mm-hmm. They're the ones that are really making it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, just to run it down, they're number one in the workforce. They graduate the most. Mm-hmm. They, they, you know, what I mean, they do all these different you things. Like, Hello. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they, they number that is the number one um, <laughs> most likely to start a business, new business owners, all these different things, man. So shout out to our ladies for doing their thing. Um, I, I was talking to the commissioner, Ms. Desmond Walker. She didn't want to actually stop me on that. She was like, "Well, um, jerk, you should have. It should be the entire community that empowers us all." And I, I agree with that. But, I mean, I think what we really have to look at is what 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 Trisha was kind of talking about is that these roles are changing now. Like they're not just like you a woman, you should be cooking, but you know, cause yeah, exactly. And you wanna know why? Cause we learned that shit here. But no, go ahead. You, okay, go ahead. And you wanna know you, why we were we can't really you know he was saying that black women we empower them and stuff you know have a day for them all this other stuff. We take care of the kids, and I mean, most of the time, you know, we still do things that we do all this stuff. And then when they go to sleep, y'all go to sleep and scratch and all this other stuff. And we're studying, and so I'm saying we can't want it for y'all. So that's why it's really no day for y'all. Remember, he was saying about Mm -hmm. it's always woman empowerment and stuff like that. that. Right to that there, man. Yeah, and I mean, because I I definitely believe in a lot of systematic. prejudice towards the black man um, versus the black woman. Also, the fact that black women, y'all outnumber us, what, them, the eight, nine, the one. Oh, that's so, the of excuse? Course, no, it's not that it's an excuse, but damn, oh, you can't ignore yeah, it either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't, can't ignore, ignore it but, either. But still, still, regardless of we, it's more, whatever, still, we have, you still have to want it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, so, no doubt. Yeah, no, I'm no saying, doubt. I'm saying, so, I mean, we have more women graduating and stuff like that, and so he was saying, why isn't it a day for men? It's because Y'all have to want it for y'all self. Y'all have to do something to show something. I mean, for y'all, y'all are behind because y'all don't want it mm. for yourself. I mean, it's true. You think that's what it is? Women, they're graduating. You just said it best. Women are graduating top of their class. Yeah, well, black well, women. Well, why, well, why isn't what? the black men, you know? Well, I think it's the same thing that you just said. Yeah, I think it's the same thing you just said about... So about that's why it's more women. Prime example, my sister and I grew up in the same household. You know, the same father and everything, um, Absolute father. I did a lot of things with my sister. Totally different. Hell, even by the time I made it to GHS, they was like, why can't you be more like your sister? We just totally different. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> like, for real, like, men are just, we're different. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, of course, I graduated, of course, but still, I was just more. I'm just saying, he was just saying, why is it so many women days? Like, why is it they empower women so much? And they, you know what I mean? Because, they eat women, but that's why. I, and I'm sorry. I, and I just feel like that, that's my personal opinion. Society, I'm waiting on them to say it. That's not. Well, I, I wouldn't say it like that, but at, most people, I know where, where he's going. They want to cater to a woman before they cater to a man. That's just what it is. What? Because we would always talk to put women first. So y'all don't. No. Who don't? Women, just like you said, women are. You can't say that when you were just with a man for nine years, then mad for six or seven. So therefore, he put you first. first. Well, you're right. It don't mean that. (laughs) But he 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 did something right for you to say I do. No, let me. He did something right. He did something right for you to say I do. But the longevity wise, that means nothing. I ain't gonna let you discredit that. Well, this is the way I would put that. I wouldn't say with him. You stay with him. So I wouldn't say it like that. I wouldn't say that they women. Women uh, cater to more. I just think that well, it's a fact that women definitely are marketed to more. 
know what I mean? So, so that 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 plays a big part into how society's even set up because we, mm-hmm. you know, we women spend like I think it's like seventy one percent of all the money. Like seventy one out of a hundred dollars, they spend seventy one of the month. Could be. Um, I wouldn't say that about the catering too. What I will say is. I do think the obstacles that we face are different. Yeah, so, that with women, you might be successful, but um, our black women face, they face other type of issues that mm-hmm. aren't exactly always, um, um, like, financial. Meaning that, like, it well, a man, a man might get hit a different way. Like, a <clears> black <throat> man might get hit in a different way. Our, our, our obstacles might be in education or, mm-hmm. or job like training or job finding. Our also. black women... They might be able to find right. a job in the and make money, right. but then their yeah. obstacles yeah. might be yeah. something yeah. like yeah. their obstacles yeah. might be yeah. something yeah. like um, raising up a, a family yeah. by themselves. You know what I mean? So we both are, we I both are facing that. obstacles. We both are lacking, mm-hmm. but your lacking just might not uh, it might not uh, manifest into a paycheck. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Why yours might manifest into a paycheck, but right. then you might be you lacking. Might it, right. You might be broke because you doing the job of two different people. Right. So you might be making the money. You know what I'm saying? But it's going right the door. So I think what ends up happening is we get uh, under the illusion that we are different mm-hmm. because we're going through different shit. Right. When really we're the same, and we. Need each other yeah, bad as ever. You know what I'm saying? We need each other desperately. But then it's just like we get into this, you know, yeah. this back and forth. Yeah. Like, it's your fault, it's your Who fault, it's your fault. Make it that way. So why you always gotta go there? It's two people. Do you think women. You I always say both, always say both of us. I say both of us. Exactly. I say both of us. I always take. I always go back to it's the woman's fault. Man. Right, I think it can be the woman's fault. I mean, but I think it could be the men's fault. I think black I think men just traditionally, in historically, we should treat black women better. I just think that. First. Hey, you're walking on a certain side, but on I think, street, you know, hey, it goes both ways. Sure the woman is way. Hey, you open the door for a woman. Hey, you talk to a woman. Everything is always catered to them. Tell me something right now. Mm. Two, I'm gonna go to you, ladies. Nothing. You know, that was instilled in you to do for a man. Mm-hmm. Cook. That's funny. Thank you. Uh, no. Simple shit. No, no, Simple no, no. Shit. I wouldn't say cook. Simple shit. Cook. I did it. Make sure Hold you cook up. for your man. Hold up, no. That's it. My no. mom didn't do that because my dad cooked. However, but that's she just cooked. A, she did cook. Uh, yeah, she did. But dad cooked. cleaned up. Most. Yeah, cleaned up. Took but care of us. No, no, no. Don't, don't tell she me what she did. Stuff. I say, tell saying, me what was instilled into y'all. I see what I'm saying. Is it nothing really clean? <laughs> Nothing really. So that's that's a, a, so I'm, 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 not, said, I'm not discrediting it. I'm not, I'm you saying that doesn't sorry. compare to like yes. having to supply a house and a life and all that? Is that what exactly? Because we are we are conditioned to be providers. But why there's so many pe- women out here mm. that's taking care of men? If that's the case, mm. yeah, yeah, a lot of us, even, even, this even, even, we just said because there's women more women been, in the work field. It's not, no, I'm it's saying it's even women at home. Supporting their man, supporting their man, they supporting them to through they Give whatever me. business ventures or whatever, right. helping them get to the wherever they going, putting them through school, mm-hmm. taking care of the house. Besides, oh, how many all women all actually doing that for their men? Look, we did it. We did it. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Let me say it like this. And I hate to, you know, be like, okay, personal, but the it's only a handful of what y'all are actually a lot talking about. There's a lot of, how many times have you seen? And you see more men wait, putting no, their women no, on than their no, women no, putting men not, on. No, That's what I'm finna ask. Wait, you go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. How many successful black men have y'all seen? Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, all of them that was married for years when they was broke with the woman that helped them get to where they was at, and then when they got and then. Keep going. And then after they're there, or when they have really got yeah, their break, yeah, talk. now they with somebody different. What you think that woman wasn't helping him when he was broke and doing shows? Then he wouldn't make being no there for every show, even the ones that wasn't. And, and you don't think him and... cheating on him and talk probably tearing his ass once he started becoming successful, and she got tied up because we just sat up and agreed that oh the women are the one that ended the relationship. But so he didn't just say oh I made it successful. I done made it and. Boom, forget you now. I'm, I'm moving over here. I'm not saying, no, no, I'm pretty no, sure he told his point. behind. That's that's not not he point. told his behind. That's not the point. I'm not saying that he's saying forget you. What I'm saying is she still took care of him. There are a lot of and he probably, and I, and I bet she still took care of him. I bet they look out for those women. I bet they look out for those women. They were going through it for a while. You know, not even... It was. He was. No. Yes, he was. Which he was one y'all talking so about? about? Kevin Hart. Hart. Yeah. Kevin Hart. Yeah. 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 So bad about his ex-wife. His wife Tori Hart. Right. Yeah. Listen, but that, listen, we but listen. Let's and let's be real. Anytime when they, you know, I hate talking about celebrities and crap. Right, right. right. 
they don't really put out the crap that the women do. It's always that the man mess up, boom, they, and he's on black. He's on black. They gonna they gonna down. They gonna down. That's not the point. The point is that there are a lot of women that have been taking care of these men, holding everything down, getting to them. To and you gotta think about it. If it's his talent that got them pretty much where they're at. No, so we're taking the talent part. We're just saying in general. It's, it's, it's so for him, but if he was broke, right? If he was broke, because he's doing shows, he trying to be a he trying to be a, a, a comedian, right? Mm -hmm. Which we so don't, they, which, right. which we don't know if he's going to actually make it. Pay no money. Make it. They ain't giving him no money like that. Y'all got right. kids. Who's Who paying, paying, the paying the bills? Paying the bills? Who's Why you got all these shows at night? Who watching the kids? Exactly. Okay, if, 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 so if he, he working, who, 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 uh, so are y'all, and then are he we, coming home and say, why the house ain't clean? He's not doing anything? But no, we're just saying, if he has that. to I'm leave and that. travel, somebody has to stay with the kids, somebody has to actually have a st stable and job, and, and then that. when he and comes home, that. he's going to expect the house to be clean, the kids to be provided for, and then he wants us to lay on our back, or to whatever. Whatever, You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go elaborate. No, let me stop, man. Hey, but That's look. What I'm saying. Like, okay, just, let me yeah. let me jump in here. Um, the it's to Trisha's point. Um, I think it's a fact. I definitely believe that the largest supporter of black men is black women. I agree mm -hmm. there. I mean, a lot of these uh, SoundCloud rappers and uh, you know, some people don't make it. You know what I mean? And they support them the whole time. The one that the, the day he had to go work. Yeah, yeah, they don't have right. Money. They start their business. Now, like now, now, hold on, hold on. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, at the same time, at the same time, I believe that, and I believe it's a fact that the largest support of black women is black men. So, it, we're both supporting each other at the same time, I think. I mean, because just like you got, just like, I mean, just watch Love and Hip Hop, man. They'll have the girl and she'll date the guy and he'll give her the money to go start the but boutique. Hold on, hold on. Because they wouldn't now, even be... Exist if they hey, didn't date the men they hey, dated. Sir, right, sir, right. Okay. Sir, so, finish. so, finish. so, I think the one thing that we're missing, and this to me, I talk about this all the time. This to me is the number one factor if you're a, in, in black dating, if you're a black man or a black woman dating a black man or a black woman. Now, if you're not dating a black man or a black woman, this doesn't apply to you. Mm -hmm. But if you're trying to date a black person and you're a black person, mm -hmm. the demographics are. They're far more. It's in the millions, man. I I I I, I heard one point eight million. I mean, that's a Kevin Samuels quote, so I don't know how true that is. But I heard one point eight million, which is the difference of how many black women there are over black. There's more. There's this, and I think that's what. That's the detriment part, mm. because what happens is there's so many of y'all mm. that y'all outnumber us by so much, mm. so. Yes, we support each other, but you might see more of it because it's just far more than y'all. Um, and this is goes back to what we were talking about last week as far as the margin of error that black men have mm. and the margin of error that black women have when it comes, uh, to, when it comes to dating. Oh. Meaning that a black woman, you guys are number one in everything. You know what I mean? But you're also number one in you know <laughs> being by yourself. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm not saying that's your fault, it's and, but because of the dynamics it's because of the demographics. There's so much more, y'all, and, 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 and I'm right. saying that I think that's the number one factor because there's so many decisions that's made out for that that causes the the big competition between y'all. Y'all competition so bad we ain't even in it. Right? Like we don't even know nothing about makeup and, mm -hmm. and body um, cutting and all that shit. We mm -hmm. out of that. We that's Resilient, not a that's yeah. a women issue. Like mm -hmm. then we don't even know what that shit is. Most of us. And uh, so I, I want to say y'all really do it for us. You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all know there's industries. Uh, that's a fine thing. That's, fine there's there's thing. whole industries that are held up by just black women right. and Alone. looking good. You know, mm -hmm. so I don't think it's y'all's fault at all. I, I re and I do think that men. I don't think it's fair. You know what I mean? I think men can kind of take advantage of this. You know what I mean? Because There's a man, so we could mess up so many times and still get a good woman. Yeah. A damn so good many, woman. Yeah. So but a woman, she it. might fuck up one time and that's it. You know what I mean? Now she's the cat lady. I think that's so, ego. right. So, you said that's egos? That's ego. So, what you think? Like, people not, uh, the women need to relax their standards. Like, how do you respond to this? That's what I'm saying. Like, what's the right answer? What, as far as, like, if a woman mess up and then. Well, what do you mean by this ego? What's the ego? Where does ego come Wait, in? I might, well, first, let me, I might have misunderstood what you were saying. Did you say um, if a woman messes up, um, then 
a guy can still get a good well, woman. Well, a lot of times, I, I said that, but it could be not the woman's fault. We, I talked about that last week, how a woman could be perfect and the man could mess up the marriage. Mm -hmm. And now she's stuck to try to, and it's just no available, no, no nothing, um, no counterpart to her being a successful black woman. It's hard for her to find a successful um, black man. I talk about this all the time about the, about the man. When a black man is is uh, is is successful, he's in very high demand because there's not many of them. Right. So now he can get a white woman, he can get a Mexican, he can get a black, he whatever he wants. A black woman could be perfect. She's the CEO. She's gorgeous. And matter of fact, her husband fucked the marriage up. She didn't even do nothing wrong. Right. And just she could have hell catching finding her counterpart, which would be a successful black man. So my point is that so so. That's why, to me, that gap, that 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 gross uh, 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 disparity of so many more black women, that's the number one factor because that, to me, shapes everything that happens after that. You know what I mean? Because if it was even, you know what I mean, it would be more, you know, men definitely wouldn't be as comfortable. We wouldn't be able to... Man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Because they know, they know they I can just go, you know, I can go to any city in this country. And I'm not bragging anything because it's not just me. It's pretty much any black man. I can go to any city in this country and, you know, I can go on Tinder and find, like, a CEO, a fine-ass black woman. Like, goddamn. any It's single. Ready to cater to me like, I, you know what I mean? Straight up. And that's not me bragging. A fat dude can do that or whatever. But that's only because of the demographic. That's only because of, you know what I mean? And, and I think it's and so. Is that women's fault? I don't think so, because we ask them now, like the relax your standards, and, and um, it's like, well, how do you respond to that? What do you do? Do you say, "Hey, we number one in this, y'all last at that. We got to find somewhere in the middle." What ends up? Because what? Because what's happening now is not the answer, which is that one successful dude get ten of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, if you want it, and the, and, and then the, the little dude that work at the mechanic, he gonna get shit. You know what I'm saying? So right. and so it's a good dude. right. So this whatever's happening is not working. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing that we just don't have an answer for. Yeah, because women uh, we stay just single. right, and then they end up now you're mm -hmm. forty and you really want now you want this motherfucker. You know you want a uh, be somebody. You know what I mean? I don't know. Y'all take it away. What y'all? Am I talking too much? No, you good, bro. I get what you're saying. It's true. Everything yeah. you say yeah. is true. Yeah. It's just it's too it's, it's too many women in the world. Mm -hmm. Too many. You know what I mean, it's, it's so many women. I mean, ratio wise, and right. And this is women are raising their standards. They, you know. And this is why. Right. We, we, However, we, it's, we, it's not that many men for right. the so right. amount of women. So and this is why we don't. I ain't gonna say we do. This is why I don't personally. I'm not totally against interracial dating when it's a black woman. I know that sounds weird, but I ain't gonna tell you not to get married or not have a a husband, right. another income in your house. Mm -hmm. When it's because because the fact of the matter is, if all black men were oh, perfect, perfect, yeah, if all black, black men, woman, yeah, but black, black men, nah, you ain't got no excuse, nigga. You ain't got no excuse. But uh, what I'm because because of this because if there's a 1.8 million gap. All of all right. black men can be perfect, and it still won't be enough for y'all. You know right. what I mean? It's gonna be somebody get left out. Right. So that's why I say that's why I ain't really hard on black women when it comes to that man. Y'all gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But you niggas, <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, my bad. But y'all ain't got no excuse, man. Come on, because it's too. Like I say, I can go to Kansas City. I can go to. And go to Atlanta. Too many gay people there, but, but still, it's they not. They don't want to be in one relationship. But they'll go and you're right. They'll you go see what I'm saying? That way, that way if they want, well, you can do that for the rest of your life. And I ain't trying to exactly. say you ain't got to be a horrible person. You can be honest. You know what I mean? You just be like, hey, I'm dating for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Because you know, if you have any form of success, you probably have that option as a black man. You know what I'm saying? Just because. As black women yeah, too. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, now, yeah. I think that more black go ahead. women are just more comfortable now being single. Yeah, I, I think, think so that, too. Yeah. You know, those, by force. I think I got two yeah, By force. The generation, it, they value, like it was important to them and they were conditioned to believe that, you know, marriage is something that you need to do. I agree with you on that. I think that now we it's, are... It's they don't so give a fuck about that shit. Right? There's so many different tools. They don't give a fuck about that shit. They don't have to be in a relationship <laughs> yeah, with anybody. But girls don't care about that shit no more. I mean, but that's just, that's both sexes. Neither I don't think men never, yeah, men ain't give a fuck about that. We choose to be. 
You know right, but I feel like we, women... we agreed earlier that we both need each other, so. That's what I said. And I see, that's where the problem like that, happens see. right there. Because yeah, like that, that, that attitude right there, which I'm not saying they're right or wrong for feeling that way. Yeah, that because I, a lot of men feel like that too. Like, fuck getting married. But that that perspective yeah, I'm bad, I'm bad. is counterproductive to family. Because right. now you try, now you got kids, nigga, so you can't just say, hey, man, fuck okay, him or fuck they her. Grow up and it's not too and they ill equipped. So that's true. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to do about that, you know? Me neither. Maybe we got to workshop that a little bit. All right, man, we're getting to the end of this, man. Yeah. Let me see what else we got. Um, you talked about this before, um, um, Michelle. What is the one thing that you've done for love that you'll never do again? <laughs> You put that nigga, you, you co sign on the car. Yeah, I think it was um, more so finances with me. Yeah. I never worked that hard again. Never, yeah. You know what I mean? To get yeah, stressed out. What you, you was a paymaster? You was cutting the check? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm put on blast like that. Yeah, hey. I, 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 I had it. I'm good. What you mean, women, man? Women, just like you said, they do so much to keep their home together, so they sacrifice a lot with, you know, they accept mo- a well, lot Well, I think of that's things. different well, if you're paying for the house, man. Right, right. Yeah. For me, but I'm just saying, I mean, like I said, I'm trying not to get too personal. No, nah, you know yeah, like it's a personal question, so don't, you know what I'm don't take but, it, you know. Yeah, but, whatever um, you want. yeah, women, and then they want to be loved so much, so you, they'll do different stuff, you know, financial-wise, to, to keep this guy, or, you know what I mean, to make him happy, and certain mm. things is just like, look, you you can't do it's so much it's only so much you can do to make this person stay happy whatever if this not in them kind of like for me I'm not sure uh, oh that acrimony yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. what yeah I gotta see that y'all never saw I didn't see it. You gotta see that. Movie, but, uh, Y'all need yeah. to watch that so we can talk about it. It's definitely a Tyler Perry movie. Okay. Y'all have to watch that yeah, so we can talk about that. Yeah. That's well, my bad. Like, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah. No, no, no. That, because that's your situation sounds literally just like that. Taraji yeah. played you. Yeah. Yeah, I was Taraji. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I ain't looking at movies. So. Yeah, 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 before I say that. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, you know what I mean? You just have to. It's a really good movie. It, 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 it caused a lot of. A it, 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 it caused yeah. a lot of debate. Uh, I actually yeah, met. I'm uh, I haven't seen that. Now I'm like, that really was a debate. Like, that was it was a big debate because. I mean, I won't tell the movie, but this, the, the, the gist of synopsis is. Synopsis is um, Man and bo- man and woman are in love, and basically, um, met in college. Yeah, they meet in college. I, I don't want to tell them what yeah, actually yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. We want to kind of tell us the situation, which is basically that, like, just, like, like they were, like, yeah, she, 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 yeah, she, was, she supported him for years, yeah. mm-hmm. right, right, okay. and then, um, she, she, she gets rid of him, and then he hits, he and he blows and, up, and, it's, and, and she goes well, crazy. But guess what? Like I said, who called it off? Yeah, she she dumped him, man. So exactly, a lot of people, a lot of so the the, exactly the debate was 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 she was she wrong or right for acting crazy after that? It's not that because he became successful successful and he said forget her. It's because of his mistakes that he made is why they're not together. Yeah, you gotta watch that. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Yeah, it's a good book. That's all. Any last thoughts on that? Uh, oh, actually, what? I didn't ask. What? I didn't ask. What? I didn't ask you. You guys that no, um, no, things that you did for love that you'll never I do again. Know, I oh, I just broke this phone the other day, like that. Uh, from, Somebody you know, said, "Watching some man not ready to leave." That no, no, not yet. Not oh, okay. Not I thought you wanted me to read something. No, no, no. But uh, what, 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 what do you say to that, Trish? I think for me, I would never put another person before myself. Mm, I, that's you know, you, I think that you can't be in a healthy relationship if you don't take care of yourself first. Yeah. I think if you both do it, you got to both do it. I feel you can't just put all of your focus on that person. Right, 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 right. Don't lose yourself. Start neglecting yourself. Yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. yourself. Okay. Like you got to feed into Most yourself definitely. too. Most definitely. What about you, bro? What would you never do <laughs> that you did in love for love, man, that you never do again? Mm, I can't. Honestly, man, I, um, there's nothing I would do. You, you no? haven't done much for love, huh? Because uh, I believe in love. So <laughs> See? I'm a person that believes in love, and I believe love conquers all, so there's nothing I won't do for love again. Mm. I'm, I'm, not happy. I'm, old. I'm a Scorpio. Oh, oh, oh we love both love Scorpios. That's why. Uh, I understand what that means. Scorpio. Yeah. 
Scorpio. They'll do anything, man. Let me stop playing. Scorpios will do anything, man. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, they won't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I told you, man. Okay. When, I, when I first met a Scorpio, that was the quote that she gave me. She was like, I'll try anything once, man. Like, you know, maybe, and, and, and I always yeah. say, maybe even twice. See what I'm saying? Hello. Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Um, was that everybody? Everybody answered that, right? I would not have thought you were a Scorpio, though. Oh, they you're kind of boring. Some All right. No, not um, boring, but... All right, sorry. A little more reserved. Yeah, he is more reserved than anyway. He said, yeah. you know me, I... He's holding it back, man. All right, um... Yeah, I'm going to ask, so I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna ask you first, Chase. Keep it nice for the... I see what you're saying. Is non-intercourse cheating, um, like, which is like, you know, secret convos, touching, <laughs> uh, quality time, like, not, not sex. I'm going to ask Trish first. Not sex, but, like, just... Secret stuff. Is that cheating? Not is it cheating, but uh, but but is that form of cheating enough to end the relationship? Which I think we kind of got to I that. I think it is. Um, I mean, I have definitely been in this situation on both sides. <laughs> yeah. I like how okay. you put that. Up. Yeah, because I didn't know which one she meant. Yeah, nah, where I have been accused of cheating, not with, but not, not yeah, with my right, but not like no, not actual. actual but intercourse then, or anything, yeah, but just shit then, like that. I've been accused of cheating because I was texting somebody. Right, and right, I don't right, think right. That that's cheating. I mean, if, if you didn't have, you didn't sleep with. A, I mean, it's just, let's hear it, now. Let's hear it. You didn't sleep with a person. So, I mean, it's wrong. I'm not saying that it's you deception. Be doing that, so right. you are. Being but was it emotional ties connected to? I mean, the person no, that you there were was no emotional. But the person you were texting, did y'all ever? Did you ever have any emotional ties to that? person? No, like we were cool, but. I didn't did in that moment. Y'all just talking. No, I never slept with him. I never slept with him. In that moment, like potential. Yeah, did the person like. Liked okay, so you knew his intentions. Exactly. Right, but and, and and therefore, you entertained. So happened, you entertained. After it happened, I was like, you know what? These are just text messages. But you're entertaining yeah. a guy that likes you. But these are just text messages. And then I was like, you know what? This was wrong. We, you know, we can't text like this no more because that was wrong. So that now it's it. wrong. So you knew it was wrong, but it's not <laughs> cheating. It's not cheating, boy. Well, well, the question is, is it enough to end the relationship? But you ain't. So you wouldn't end the relationship behind that. If your mate did that to you, you wouldn't end the relationship for that. That's I the question. In a relationship, okay, I'd be like, I'm... you being deceit, like it yeah, would cut be it off. Problematic, obviously. Right. You don't think that's cheating? I mean, if if that other person had intentions to mess they with didn't the have person, intentions to. If you knew their you intentions, he liked you. yeah. Okay. Well, either I'm saying, but I wasn't going to. It was just. It but, but you knew that their intentions. They yeah, like you. I know what I was going to do. I was going to do. I get what you're saying. She entertained it. You in yeah, there you go. She entertained it. Right, it will. Can't be entertained. I love I love the memes they be like, uh, they say don't entertain with niggas and then they end up be dancing and shit. Anyway, I might be on the person that. Alright, um, what do you say to that, man? Uh, she think everything cheating. Uh, that's a score. None intercourse cheating. <laughs> secret secret combos, yeah. touching, yeah, quality time. Mm. Is that enough to end your relationship? Yep. We just. Good, been, you really like the person? You know, break up. You just messed up the see, one time. Are you ready to cheat? So you might as well just hard. have sex with the person. Yeah, yeah. that's what they, that's you what people well, say. Might as well. That's that, both of those things are the same to you. Same, if, same if consequence. Because most people don't like to change their numbers. Um, what? And some woman just takes them out of the blue, and she might just say, "Hey." I, I want to see you or whatever. You and know. then you say, roo, 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 delete. Uh, <laughs> nah, that's different. Cause I'm that's not gonna, no, 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 that's no, so no, funny. no. Cause, because like, I mean, if I'm with somebody, I'm not doing that again. Like I would never do that again. You know what I mean? Be like, who's that in your phone? Whatever. You know, if you got to worry about I have it. Trust, yeah. So if you deleted it, I would, I would think that you, you know what I mean. Tell me the truth. But okay. I feel like so now it's in your hands what you do with it. If I find out that you texting back, that's one thing. If it's one text, you know what I mean. I believe you. Whatever. That's it. Okay. That's how I. Feel. But you got some women that are consistent. So what do you say, you bro? Some women that don't care, you know, because you hit somebody. If the girl and that's why you delete it because you don't know you can't control what other people do. But if they're continually being disrespectful, then that's when you need to right, right. address right. that. Like, come on now. Like, so, or you need to let them know you need to chill out. Cause, yeah, because uh, do you want your relationship to end? Like you know what I mean. You so would you doing. would you break up with the girl for texting? Uh, 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 Touching or uh, secret combos. I have trust issues. It's out of, she out of there. Two fingers in a spray. Two fingers in a spray. Uh huh. Scorpio. All right, man. I'm gonna feel like, especially if you keep trying. I'm like, dude, ain't gonna keep hitting you up. All right. Ain't gonna yeah. You know, some shape, form, or fashion. That's real. That's real shit, man. Does it matter the length of the relationship? What if it was like a? It was 
Well, like early, like yeah, well, that's within reason. Y'all yeah. still don't know how, like y'all are together. That makes sense. Y'all don't know how serious y'all. Yeah. Like, y'all still be no, no, then we're not together. There's some conversations need to be right. had. Then we just trying to, yeah. Exactly. But once we become considered. together, I really once hope we, you yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Once we you know right. Yeah, once you yeah, get to that yeah. point, yeah. Michelle yeah. Demays. Michelle Demays said, uh, "None of that should happen if you're truly happy." Right. I agree. I agree. And I that's the part of the reason why it happened. No, I'm not saying. Which I goes back why I feel like everybody teaches for different exactly. reasons. Right. You know? right. Well, I feel you, man. No, I'm not. No, just because I, I know. No, no, no. I'm not saying you do. I don't know. I'm just saying. Just I was gonna say something. Right. Well, say it then. Come, come on. Say I'm it. Saying, I'm just, just say it. I, say just, it. I think that's so. I mean, like, shoot, if you feel like you're going to cheat, like, nah, just tell me. Just say you're not happy and we can both, you know, don't don't cheat and then. What if I am happy, but God, just all y'all make, make me happy, medicine, not just you, so you everybody. Just, no, because you got to give me the choice to say if I want to stay with you while you're talking to somebody. But I know you're going to say no. I know you're going to say no, so I'm not going to tell you that. But let me do my own thing. No, 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 I don't want that either. You want, you, you want your cake and eat it too. No, right? no, no, we ain't gonna do this right. shit like that. Exactly. But look, that, that, that little statement. Okay. If it's my cake, I'm supposed to. I don't understand it. Either. I don't understand it. Okay, well, but y'all know, I mean, that's just the same. I so, feel you. Know, you made it. I what, get what, it. What, what um, you your thing today? Right. Keep breathing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Right, right, right. No, I like that, like bro. It, but, but still keep breathing. Yeah, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Just keep breathing. Just breathe in and out. Let me see. I'm going to go to you first, brother. And with this question, I kind of know what your answer is going to be, but I do want y'all to say why you feel that way. Um, I don't know what your answer is going to be, though. Uh, would you ever be in a polyamorous relationship? Why or why not? Yes. Because I, I, I would try it. Um, you know, with this, just. just um, and I mean, in I'm all forms, family. you'll be the other guy, or you'll be the dude with two girls. Oh, definitely the guy, the man with the two women. But you wouldn't so be you. But it's polygamy. more polygamy. Yeah. What's what's, what's the difference? So, um, like ahead. what you said. Yeah. No, what it was the trap? Tell us. Polygamy is like if I'm the person, wife, right? I'm the person. And you got and multiple I husbands. Been, I'm married to all my these husbands, but they're not with anyone else. They are my husband. Got it. Polyamory is we're all like I could be in a relationship. And they can you. be in a relationship. Yeah, kitchen a relationship table. Yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah. Kitchen table. Y'all need an agreement that you. you know, What's like kitchen table? It's sloppy, just yeah, juices. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's a lot. Like, uh, is kitchen table, is that with reference to sex? Mm -hmm. right. What's kitchen table? It's just different. It's different, different forms of polyamory? Mm -hmm. well, I, I, I need to educate. I, need, I, I don't now, know I, mean, I don't know about this. But you would never be but the other dude. Me, I look at it as building like an empire, dude. Like, yeah. Like a Nick Cannon? Like the TV show. I don't know. Oh, like what I mean is basically like, if I, I would choose my women selectively like to make it work she's bringing to the table yeah like methodically more like she got the land you know what i'm saying yeah she got all the connections everybody you know, got their own duties everybody. yeah so, so like we go something to build you up so something catered just to you you no, all these the women not, see, to, see, to see how women want to make it like no, no. I'm, asking, I'm, see, sorry. I you, I I'm sorry i'm sorry i'm just women. trying to understand he's the trying emperor trying over the he empire <laughs> what about you that's why people got married back i don't think um, also, I don't think people got married. Ah, uh, okay, okay, married okay, 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 you know okay, okay, so okay, okay. So that would be my. Good, I see where you're going with that. I see where you're going you know, with that. that type of so you, you, when you say you build an empire, you talking about you talking about getting married as a, like a, a business decision, a financial decision. We're gonna bring all these three resources together. You know what I'm saying? Share resources. There you go. Okay. I like that, man. Um, that I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Exactly. What do you, what do you ladies? Now you're going to give yours. What do you ladies Take think? I'll I, I go to you first, Michelle. Nope. <laughs> yeah, nope. You know no form of poly. You're going to be two girls and you're going to be with nah, two husbands. I'm not all these juices everywhere. You got juices going with this person, me. No, that's, I think that's disgusting. And even if I Yeah, know, that sounds, you made it, you said made it sound really disgusting. No, 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 really no, 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 you said, no, you said, you know, sometimes the they're not married. Sometimes they just in relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you said that that, that that doesn't out, out, outlaw uh, trickery, right? Yeah. 
Right. Exactly. Still, nah, this, uh, uh, and like I said, maybe I'm too jealous. Like, nah. Mm -mm. Possessive. I'm, I'm the one. You're definitely, yeah. You're possessive. Yeah. What? But I ain't gonna lie. I keep having these damn. Well, I'm like, I'm about to try something. Hey, man. What? I'm sorry. Yo, low, man. You having what? Nothing. Yo, low. Take it away, Trish. Yo, low. Take okay, it away, I Trish. Say that I would probably. If I didn't have children, oh, right, right, right. Actually, I think they have to. I would, I would probably. And what, what, what form of oh, polyamory are you talking sure about? I mean, I don't mind. Oh, you meant like just open? So you talking just, about yeah, what like you were saying? I, if I'm dating someone, yeah. like I'm cool with us dating and spending our time together. And if you want to date somebody, if, and also as long as we understand that everybody is healthy and right, 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 right. Yeah. Due diligence. How do we know that? What everybody got brain well, and paper? We don't go together. Like I want. We go together. What? Don't bring me no paperwork. You're not copy and paste it. Don't bring me no paperwork. You're not copy and paste it. We're going together. It's a field trip. It's a field trip. It's too much. We got to do all that. It's not that serious. Like Stevie. You got to do that anyways when you're in a relationship. Like Stevie J, man. Me and my partner, and I trust him, and we built something. Okay, you have two partners. No, we, no, not I. It's just one extra. Not I. I'm not. 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 I'm
woman's way of flirting with me, right. you know, other women pick up on it. They're like, well, she flirting. I'm like, no, I don't think she's flirting. Right. right. That's what I'm. So I don't pick up on a lot of. Right. Things. I guess yeah, I'm a little, you you know, ain't get right one because there's some of them that's really aggressive. Some of them are aggressive too. Say, I say something, you, please. And say I want you. You know what I'm saying? Please yeah. say something. Hey man. Please, he's begging. What about you? What would I advise? Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess I got to go with what you guys are saying. You definitely would have to make it be known. But after that, I mean, I might want you to jump through a few hoops. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's I a mean, joke, you got to prove yourself. Nah, I'm, I'm, jo- I'm joking about it. All right, man. Uh, I want to say thank y'all for coming on, Trish, especially you. you, you, you uh, Miss Trish, I'm so happy you came yes. to be the voice of reason. And you guys, and you guys do have that very different point from you and yep. personality. So mm-hmm. I'm happy that you came. Please don't be a stranger. Any last thoughts? Any shout outs, man? Shout out your uh, business again. Oh yeah. And uh, anything else, y'all? Shout out your music page. Your business page. Oh, please forget T E E Z four number four K I C K Z. That's on Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Okay, bet that up, man. Um, oh, what about you, young lady? You want to shout that. somebody out? Yes, I just had to go to the um page. So um, it is an online boutique. It's called um sixty six eight one dot net. It's an online fashion boutique. Um, you can go to IG, the same thing, 681. Um, this is uh, my homegirl. She just started her, her own online boutique. Okay, so what's she based out of? It's Gainesville. Okay, mm-hmm. let that up, man. We have to contact her and see if we could maybe hook some stuff up, man. Yeah. Uh, what about you, big dog? You want to shout somebody out? Nah, I'm good. Man. Nah, nah. Any any yeah. people in the community y'all want to shout out? Anybody doing their Me? thing? Uh, my dog, shout out to Portals. <laughs> my little cousin, my, little, my cousin, he was talking about you the other day. Oh, Antoine. What did he say? Good? What? Yes, he said he did. Good. He did say something good. He pissed good, me off, but that's man. anybody. But that's everybody. That's everybody. It, exactly. exactly. That's everybody. Mm-hmm. You know. Shout out to all uh, y'all brother Mo's. I'm gonna keep shouting out Mo's till he brings me some. Yeah, Mo's classmate. <laughs> and um, yeah, man, much love, man. We we back in what next week? Week after that? Yeah, I thought we still. We got the week, right? So what's, so what is this, man? You the one. So that'll be the thirtieth. See, we back on the thirtieth. Say one thing. That'll be the thirtieth. We back on the thirtieth. Everybody back. We good. So, we good. All right. And I, hey, if y'all want to come next week, peace, love, man, hair so grease, up the, uh, whatever you use, spritz, whatever. All right. All right. And much Blue love. Magic. What's the little black stuff that you use to cover up both sides? I don't have none of that, so I don't know what she doing she talking with about all that. that uh, so what's it called that uh, yeah. that Beijing. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about that Beijing. White neck right here. If I can wear it right now, yeah, live. That Beijing. So oh, That's so funny, man. <laughs> Let's see. Why? Well, well, tell you, always throwing shots. Well, she don't play. All right, man. Let's let me up out of here, man. All right, let me know when you guys are down, so I can I'm talk. Well, I don't have my kids, so it's time. Oh, this past my bedtime. So you hanging out, huh? Yep. Gotta figure out some shoes. Oh. Sorry, dude. I broadcast online, so I broadcast from a website, which is just. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we're pretty global. Uh, You guys are still talking on the internet, but. uh, that's you, big dog. Where we at? That you can't use. You know, that's my voice. Well, it wasn't playing at first. Well, it was. Oh, boy. Why did you come back, man? That's how you fix it. I had it my way. I thought that's not the song, though. Yeah. That's not the song. No, it was something you did last time. I think it was the speaker. Anyway. 